All right. Dulls, yeah. You've done well. You have appeased me, Sarah's fauna. Have a plant. Uh, thank you. And another plant. Th thank you. I am off to go stream now. Oh, okay. Farewell. Uh, okay. Who are you again? Wait, that's our Sarah's house. fauna. That's our house. Don't. If it'll play. Oh my god, the play button didn't work. No! No, no. it's falling apart! Ah! Oh, Guys, lucky. it's so casino! Wait, that's our Sarah's house! Fauna. That's our house! Don't- Was it Soul who called that a mall Santa arse <laughs> ending? Santa. <laughs> so with that, welcome back to Sapling Separation. Welcome back to Hell Woo. Casino. Thank you for joining us again, Thomas. And to the rest fauna. of you, um, thank you for fueling my brain rot. <laughs> <laughs> we found Why are you still of... here, Thomas? Like, wh what makes you stick around this? <laughs> oh, you know what? You're absolutely- <laughs> No, no. Uh, generally, I just have a lot of fun. It's it's great being around y'all. Y'all are a fun party. And it's, yeah. Even I... when sometimes you put me through- <sighs> You're really the most horrible fandom known to man. VTuber fan. So, we're gonna rewind a bit. So, this whole thing started. Um... This whole thing started because Soul Quote and I just had a group chat where we talked about VTubers, but um, a very popular meme in Fauna's community is that her fan base, the Saplings, do not have a concept of object permanence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Resulting in a lot of just, um, I want to say intentionally exaggerated behavior, but then I see uh, the Clipper Sakasan, and I don't know if it's ironic anymore. <laughs> I, some some saplings take it so far, I don't know if it's a joke, and that scares me. And I'm probably also guilty of that. <laughs> Fair. That's also where the popular URL imissfauna.com comes from, which was cameoed at the very credit in the credit scene where it has a countdown to how long it's been since our last stream. Uh, one day when I was ha when I had this group chat with Soul and Quote, where we've just talked about uh, liking VTubers, mainly Fauna, um, with, especially with Bri joining the group chat, um, there were w at least one or two instances where the group chat just got hijacked to be in a very long conversation about firearms that I did not care about. And oh. it was <laughs> okay. getting to that point where a group chat needs to stop being a group chat and start being a server. And slowly over time, more and more people who are kind of from the hardcore community started uh, getting invites thrown at them. And then eventually, when we ended up with seven people, I made a joke of, <laughs> wow, we have, we have enough people from the hardcore community, we could do like a joke-themed hardcore about Fauna. And then, as a lot of things often go, I, 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 I take a second and be like, that'd be funny. And I think about it, wait a second. That would be funny. But at this point, I was still trying to focus on doing an actual season of Hardcore. And then the Hardcore Jam was announced, and it was like the perfect stars aligning, like, okay, I had the idea of doing a Fauna Hardcore. It's a horror-based th thing, and we already had the idea of like, okay, there could be like a whole bunch of stuff. Um, do I want to go back to the earliest messages for this? It was just going to be us playing. It's going to be a normal, just normal Minecraft hardcore, but we would have to stay outside and on the surface at, at night, and we would just have a massive phantom wipe. That was the idea. There was a whole bunch of other ideas thrown around. The first message that I have pinned in the in the big tree chat, with how many fauna fans we've collected, I just had a fucked up idea in the shower. A fucking fauna joke hardcore. <laughs> the end goal is to find fauna. All the portraits would be edited version of the Holocure sapling sprite. That, was, that wasn't what we went with. And the commentary would just consist largely of everyone saying how much they miss fauna. <laughs> and then, quote, immediately pitched in with the with some other ideas that didn't get used in the full thing because I didn't know how to set them up, like uh, sapling drop rate boosted to 100, um, potion effect for hurting nature. He, he suggested he could do something with theme core. That's not exactly how it worked out, but I honestly... You know, things change and that's good. A little more shit posting about the idea. Um, Lou had the idea of immediately uh, finding the gif of Fauna removing her jacket in a chest and having that uh, put put um, 
someone who wasn't asexual down to half a heart. <laughs> Incredible. I think it was me who suggested the idea of making it not just phantoms. And then ironically, I um, ended up being the only phantom death. The idea wasn't that there wasn't going to be a planned death for everyone originally. That kind of leads me into my next thing. Because originally the idea was just that it's going to be a normal hardcore where any deaths were treated like normal. Um, but then there was just the massive wipe event at the end, and there'd just be a whole bunch of in-jokes that we'd sprinkle inside there. The idea didn't really take full shape until after our good friend Fuzz invited a lot of us, honestly, I think it's quote, soul, um, Thomas and myself, to what was going to be his jam entry that got cancelled due to what I can only call the universe doing everything it can to work against him. <laughs> That is pretty um, accurate. So, um, a little bit of context going into this. Fuzz pitched his idea for the second hardcore jam as being a murder mystery type thing. And so, I had, I expressed interest in joining. I said, I would like to join, and I would like my entire character to be the person that breaks every single rule in a murder mystery. He came up with a whole bunch of, like, here's a list of things that every, that is, uh, that relates to someone being the first death in a murder mystery. Someone is, uh, someone's overly romantic, someone, uh, goes off on their own a whole bunch, they don't take it, they don't take it seriously, and then the one that I didn't expect that I, that I, that I, um, that I wasn't, like, I never heard of this one before. Someone who is excessively drunk. And so, for the sake of the video, we'll just <laughs> say that I got really into character. Command How did I get right here? Then. Just the plank is good. <laughs> and yet, I stop laughing. Dude. The Lake Squid cameo. <laughs> <laughs> you need is everybody here? I feel like we're missing somebody. Oh, there's TJ. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot you guys couldn't see me in the trees. <laughs> I am William, the butler for, for our event here. And I am Aspen. I'm your maid for this event. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Damn, this shit was cool. I'm sad it died. Indeed. I, I'm loving the vibes. So cool. I hear the buzz. <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling the buzz. Yeah, I'm I, I, I'm excited to get to the feastin'. I'm I'm not I don't really have too much to say. I'm <laughs> When the when the hell do we <laughs> that, that's none of your concern. Okay. Why don't you mind your own damn business? Their name is and it's cut off. No. No oh, what a load of bullshit. I was no, just ready to you expect it. me to believe that? <laughs> if required, I will have all your heads on a plate by morning. Regardless, one like of you that, is going... Like you're the murderer. <laughs> or I can just throw you off the top of my manor. I don't really give a shit. Dare I say, all last I, I checked, that, gonna... that was murder, sir. <laughs> I say. Eh. It's okay, it's just poison. It's just poison. Is that luck? You had luck potions? Yeah, I want what he's having. That looks Lucky strong drunk. as hell. <laughs> no! Oh. Oh. oh, shit! It just oh, cuts shit. to a blood dead? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's three stacks of blood. blood. That is a, a lot of blood. I didn't know that much blood could fit in a person. <laughs> Oh please, lights go out and he, imme and he immediately says in here. You expect me to buy this bullshit? Dude! I bet this isn't even real blood. Why are you No green? person has that kind of blood. Like, why, why are you even green? green? That's what a, what a wild statement! No person has this much blood. Don't, little, don't worry Bro. about it. Sir, I, I now definitely, is not the time to be drinking. I, I, and what, it's happy hour somewhere in the world. It's right, well, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fasten me a nice couch to sit on. God, I can't believe everyone's taking this shit seriously. Um, Did you just stumble into the railing just in some game? Kind of ploy. <laughs> yeah. This is obviously just some kind of ploy to bait us into some. <laughs> disappear and then no oh, into a trap. Like, like, oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real, real clever. Stairs disappear and then there's no way back up. Time I get out of here. Oh, they're never gonna hear the end of it. Fuck. What the fuck? Oh. Are you okay? Uh, look at how terribly this place is up, Cap. Blame this place's lousy damn infrastructure. <laughs> oh. Thank, thank you kindly, lass. That was some lousy bullshit. <laughs> Does he just leave you here when he's, when he's not re uh, residing here? Pretty much. I mean, me and Will, we're, we live 
a bit down the road in another house. Man, I reckon that must be very lonesome. I, I mostly do the dirty work around here, to be fair. The dirty work, huh? I reckon you probably know how to get very dirty. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this rare footage of TJ trying to flirt? Hold on, what's happening? <laughs> to be fair, yeah, okay. uh, um, so um, I want to make it clear. On. I want to make it clear. Yeah, no, Before we clear. recorded this, I reached out to three different people to establish a dynamic with them. Aspen was okay. one of them. I blatantly told Aspen, so I, I told her what my character is, and I said, would you mind if I just blatantly flirted with you? And like, if at any point in time I say something that makes you uncomfortable, you you have a word that can you have a word that can just shut me up and that will be the end of it. Other two dynamics I established. There's the idea of Thomas, for some reason, trying to uh, look up to me and like um, see me as a source of inspiration for some reason. But I was also going to like, it was that, and I was also going to like interrupt your flirting at some point. Yes, was yes. The idea of like, you guys were laying it on thick, and I was like, interesting, I can already see the headlines. And then I was, like I was a gonna, reporter. and I was gonna try to blackmail you to not, to not post that story. <laughs> but yeah, um, everyone was in on this to some degree. My main inspiration of like how I was going to flirt was I was going to take the years I have spent of watching Lucagen and come up with any dirty joke I could. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's yeah. good practice! Honestly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope Lucagen is proud. I just <laughs> want to say, I love, I love the delivery on must get quite lonesome. Because you, like, with yeah. your, with your, <laughs> like, it, you sound like an NPC. Like, you know, like, it is the most NPC sounding delivery. I, like, people who, like, pretend to be NPCs in those Morrowind videos, they don't hold a candle to you saying, but it's quite lonesome. <laughs> it's so right. funny. I also told her, you can choose to react to my flirting in any way you want. Sir? Are you coming on to me? What? I, I mean, only if you're into that kind of thing. Um. Hmm. How many figures is your bank account? <laughs> Careful, there's some <laughs> 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 structure over here. What did she say? I didn't hear that. How, that many, how many figures is your bank account? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Just fell through the floor and ra landed in that piping over there. I could tell that I could tell that fluid was a lot dirtier than your average water, but I feel like my immune system has had plenty to build up, so I didn't feel like much. Is that why you were glowing green earlier? Now no, that that'd probably just be the booze. Are you carrying something radioactive? Uh, I mean, my booze might my booze might be something along that those lines. What the hell are you drinking? <laughs> Stronger shit than you'll get your hands on. <laughs> that is the best response. I just want to find somewhere comfy to lay down and do my own thing. Well, there are that. some bedrooms here. They're just slightly trapped, but we've disarmed uh, most of it. Oh, I, well. I don't trust it. They can only be reset. Oh, there are that. some bedrooms here. Sounds like you're fighting for your life to say every single it. sentence. It really does. Now, when you say I trapped... I, uh, sir, I would be very careful. Can we talk about how this man stored corpses in his chest? He has what? He has what? He has what? <laughs> Look at this. How else do you explain the bones in here? I don't know. Dude's probably an archaeologist by trade. Okay. Ooh, free. But now we Ooh, just have to free food. Bottom. Don't mind if I do. Bro. Oh, and potatoes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. I'll be taking all of that. Oh. I told oh, you about the stairs, gracious. man. I told you about the stairs, uh, man. Seemingly. You okay, sir? This man, this house is not upkept at all. This man, literally bullshit. too drunk to die. <laughs> there is no upkeep uh, yeah, to this damn place. I that was a mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Not just>, <laughs> you would have been fine. That's so funny. There you is no been upkeep to this in. place. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. I believe that was a mine. Explodes in front of me. Yeah. There is. DJ, that is that is hold on, hold on, hold the best on. way you hold could on. possibly have gone out. <laughs> listen, listen to my laughter here. It's perfectly safe, and I just. Did. <laughs> it's tragic. It was, I survived and it was like, okay, I believe that was a mine. Yeah, whatever. Open chest. <laughs> it's, this is giving me freaking last life flashbacks. Yeah, no, yeah, for I, the sake of the recording, I had one shot to get this right. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I was with him for like two minutes, and I'm like actively trying like, hmm, you should take this seriously. Look at these bones this guy has in his chest. Eh, it's probably nothing. And the wrong flesh? Are you not, huh? <laughs>
Eh, it's He's probably, probably an archaeologist. He's fine. He's probably an archaeologist. into a trap, and I'm like, yeah, you should be more careful with traps. We've already known this <laughs> place is booby trapped. Someone already actually died before TJ did. And I was like, eh, this is bullshit. Hits a chest. It almost kills me with it too. <laughs> That's so. Funny. On on that note, um, <laughs> um, so among funny. the things that did get finished for Enigmatic, um, were port <laughs> were portraits, which Fuzz had like really like of professionally done, which is really sad because again, it just shows no. how much work work went into this. And the portrait that came out for me was fantastic. I guess I'll send the reference I sent him first because I had the, I had an idea in mind of like how I wanted it to look. This is this is uh this was a reference I sent him. And then Fuzz came back with this was what Fuzz, this was, this is what Fuzz was able to do with that and it's amazing. <laughs> oh, nice! That's pretty good. It. It's so good. I, I love how much he captured just the drug energy. It's fantastic. Yeah, very. It's uh, completely zooted. Hold on, I'm just gonna post the overlay because it has all of them. Go for it. Yeah, this was how things worked out. Yeah. Cool. This wasn't the final overlay, I think, but it's close enough and it, it really shows how much of a tragedy it was that this never got to that this everything went wrong with it the reason i showed you guys the footage from enigmatic is because it started as a launch point from when this became from when uh marking the point when this stopped being okay what if we just had a bunch of really dumb people playing it up for three days and then uh and dying to phantoms and when it started being what if we made every single joke a punchline because after a performance like that I really saw the comedic potential in Hardcore Deaths, and I was like, okay, what if we, what if I did more of this sort of improv where we have like a pseudo script, but then we take it to an extreme, and in, and instead the focus of everything is how everyone dies. I started reaching out to Sylvette and Ellie to see if either of them could help me with my idea. Ellie helped me up with getting a lot of the commands set up for it. At the end of the day, Ellie wasn't able to meet at the same time everyone else was, so I was like pretty much at a loss going into the day like before we were about to record. I'm just in Golden Brawlers VC, and Casino shows up, and because I'm really excited about this idea, I can't on, help but on. gossip about it a little bit. I, I want to Kishino... contextualize. I am like not act. I, I've grown more active since, but at the time, like I'm not active in that server. I joined there for like the first time in like a full year. Oh my god! <laughs> Just by coincidence. So Kashino shows up. I'm kind of gossiping about this silly idea I have. I don't really have anyone to to play that role of Command Goblin anymore. And Kashina was like, side you me up. You did not call it Command Goblin. I did Goblin. not. I gave you that name. I think you did. But like, I was like, no, I, I need, know you, I, I, know someone... I didn't because you were, you didn't want to call me that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've worked up to it a lot more I had to convince you to call years. me that because you were worried about it. You were worried about, you were like, you were like, so I don't how have... do I credit you? What do you want to be credited as? And I was like, Command Goblin. And you were like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's really funny. You showed up like, I want to say like an hour, maybe two before we were supposed to record. I ran you through everything I wanted you to do, and then you fucking killed it. <laughs> yeah. No we haven't seen cool. much of your role yet in the actual thing. We're going to go back to that in just a little bit, but we're almost there. I So this was where I really started like, okay, this was the idea. It was like, okay, here is, I went through the uh, ideas I had for deaths in order. I gave everyone a chance to come up with their own death, and very notably, uh, Lou and quote had quite a fight over who gets to die to being horny. <laughs> I lost. Sounds about Incredible. right. Incredible. So uh, the deaths I had in mind was originally there was going to be two nether deaths, but then I had a no show for the session as it was, and we, I had to scrap one of them, which I think was for the better because Kyogre ended up fucking killing it, just becoming the protagonist. Thank you. Oh, and I have Thank plenty you. to say there when it happened. So the idea was that it was originally going to be Yug and Kyogre going into the nether. Uh, Yug, I labeled Death by Squeeb, where he would die to piglins, and Kyogre would be, uh, would have a, a nether mushroom induced trip where he would mistake an enderman for fauna. <laughs> Instead, I just kind of decided, okay, um, when we had a no-show for that day, I just decided, okay, Kyogre, new plan, you're just going to go into the nether, survive as long as you want, die however you want, just do whatever you want. Little, little did I know you would proceed to have like a 15 to 20 minute adventure. <laughs> I was I... made for that role, dude. dude. You have no idea. Okay, well, <laughs> so running through the rest of these real quick. Toad was gonna, uh, Toad was really gonna be the Mumei death, and uh, I figured it would be. Uh, so basically, so, um, 
shows up because Thomas has not given himself to nature would be the like lore reason for why a toad would die that way. Instead, ended up being a, an isolated session where I got to torment Lorelei. That was also fun. Yep. Lou hallucinates due to horny, uh, funny. And then originally the idea was that night three, we could I couldn't come up with one final death. The obvious thing that happens is I was like, okay, I guess I guess it makes sense for quote and soul to have a a, a death of e of equal value where they both died of phantoms, and then I survive as this as um, the one person who um, is traumatized from everything and I try to go back to Thomas and the original idea was I was going to go back to Thomas and, and rehab my addiction to Fauna slowly uh, and slowly recover until eventually um, with, without Thomas's knowledge I would die to the insanity creatures. I'd have like night terrors from the whole experience or something like that. I think I at least want to say this much because a huge thing that was a shared experience Sol and I had was on my uh, we were very excited because she had scheduled an ASMR stream on my birthday that she then promptly canceled <laughs> right but it's okay because she announced that she'd be doing another that she'd be doing a different ASMR stream like a week later but i saw the writing on the wall i saw that that would mean that she'd be doing an ASMR stream in october and i knew that that was probably going to mean that it wasn't going to be a comfy ASMR and Man, have I never been more right in my life? And Sol and I shared the experience of being traumatized over that ASMR stream. Um, specifically, uh, the the ASMR um, goes into the topic of Igor, uh, and replacing your eyes with a frog's eyes. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, and lovely. <laughs> and by lovely, I mean vile. Yeah, it is I absolutely really vile. Awesome. Uh, Igor is one of my personal like biggest squeaks ever. It makes me super uncomfortable. <laughs> and for some reason, and I'm so we turn it into a bit. <laughs> and um, so th so that was when the idea shifted to being okay. So what's going to happen is instead, um, because uh, Soul's going to end up accidentally touching a poisonous frog and reigniting his trauma from that. Last minute casting changes. I swapped out Ellie for Casino. And I had two no-shows, so that meant that we had one less death, and we gained one Nyanachi. <laughs> I, I was just gonna say, we kind of, kind of jumped over the bit where we introduced me as kind of like the, the straight man of this entire... Like, you were part of the plan from the start. Thing. Not the plan from the start. Um, you were, you were indoctrinated during uh, after Enigmatic, because I was also gossiping about my idea yeah. for doing a Fauna joke hardcore in the Enigmatic server. A lot of people showed interest, but like Thomas in particular was like, I could be the str I as like I had the, as I talked about, we kind of had an idea of having one non sapling there just to just to like ground our level of insanity. And Thomas was like, I could do that. I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> Kind of just how that went. <laughs> All right, uh, are you are you ready to start You're watching the actual the actual uh, thing Absolutely, now? Absolutely, of course. Yes, sure. sure. Right. <laughs> I still love that little like little like fucking visual effect that didn't start there. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm so sad we can't have Neon and Lou here for this, but it's just what we got. <laughs> It's a tragedy. What's a tragedy. Dude, I love. I still remember distinctly oh, someone commenting. I think it was Rose Buddy. Just. As soon as it started, I just saw in like the chat to to of the McDonald's? server. Really? Did we just get tricked into watching half an hour of YouTuber clips? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I remember funny. reading that, and I was like, mm. I think this is perhaps what I think this is. I one of my biggest regrets. I think I could have cut this clip down better and still include Kashino's thing. But when you only have thirty Fair. minutes, it's so hard to fit okay, everything in. But yeah, how do you? How else do you convey Sarah's fauna? Like this was necessary to like. Yeah. Bye fauna. Bye fauna. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be yeah. hell, trying to figure out who's talking in the past and currently. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, guys, we all need to start- like, next Let's just start roleplaying like we're still recording and just start saying the same things and make this podcast God, terrible. No. Treason. Already, guys. <laughs> Treason. Treason. We're not there yet. You can get a toaster and- <laughs> This edit! <laughs> Ooh, I love that!
Soggy oh, toast. Yeah, soggy toast. <laughs> I love the tears that you use for that. Like, I'm just, that's so Dude, yeah. Dude, I, okay. Not, I heard like that joke from like a cut out some years from the port and it just sent him that as a file. So I was like, alright, sure, what do you need it for? I'm like, you'll see. Pixels going like to the, it looks like her hair. It was perfect. This plant is, oh my god. I love you guys losing your minds over a potted plant that just looks like her hair. I was not there for this. Fertilization? Say? Fauna has fertilized our bread. It's <laughs> a brand new sentence. This is horrible. Shut up! <laughs> oh, God. oh yeah, I was stuck in the fence. You had to save me. I forgot about that. Spawn protection. Did someone else get stuck in the fence? And like, I think I did before we started recording. Don't yeah, like, I remember god. having to let somebody don't, out. Oh my god, I thought <laughs> and, like, I, I, thought I, I like, gave myself invisibility. <laughs> I love that this was the most safe for work Moo art no, I could find. No, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real talk, sure. I had no idea what the heck was going on with that. I had no idea it was a cow relationship with Spawner. I was like, what? Does he so not know? Just, it's just the fact that her catchphrase is like, ooh, he doesn't know. And, and at one point she made the connection of like, okay, if you put an M in front of all the U's, it's like a cow noise. So she and then encouraged someone, her fan base to draw, to no, draw no. Uh, art of her she in, did, a, in she a cow She didn't encourage keys. anyone. <laughs> someone just responded, Fauna. You know this is just gonna make people draw you and then oh, right. me. And then she quote retweeted it saying, as if that wasn't the plan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like they know I how mean, to cultivate it. Credit where it's due. Sure. Master manipulator. I have to Master well manipulator. Well manipulator. Well I, need to I also realized I forgot to go. I, I've already gone off of I forgot about that quote. <laughs> I, I did that. too. That was hilarious. The fact that I just saw Kishino in front of my eyes for a second. I panicked so bad. No, no, I, was like, I, I was in the call, right? Like, I got you guys all the, the server dev in so I could hear yeah. you guys at all times. Do you and know what I thought would happen was somebody oh, sorry, like, yeah, Look, was distracted. Sarah's fauna. But I'm like, <laughs> that didn't happen. And so I'm sitting there and like, you guys are taking a really long time to get across that bridge. And I like, turn on F5 to see your guys' progress, and you're like, right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and I just like quickly f 3 end away. <laughs> this fucking bit, oh my god. Her this is the was best here. bit coming up, best bit. <laughs> to start destroying the village! We have to break it down. <laughs> we have to break it all down. Again, we can't, we can't we break any trees down, we have to break the houses. This is exactly how it was supposed to be. I, I love how my settings in game translate. Treason? Treason! I love this. My, my, the way I play the game just. Translate into the most jittery fucking perspective ever. Because I, I can't hold my hand still, and I play as a fucking boy, bro. It was when you guys were destroying the village. I literally like I stopped moving. We must kill. And I, I think I might have even said out loud. We must kill. This is kill. Yeah. 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 You weren't prepared for this hardcore. Yeah, that's just what being a VTuber fan is like. Trust the process. This is why you won't do it. Okay. <laughs> I forgot I did this to Thomas! The cow would never lie to us. No, I love you, We love you, cow. Love right. you, cow. <laughs> we love you, cow. It's moving! Okay, so two things. I'll show the full the full session that we didn't get to see oh, anything God. of. I didn't know there was more. Oh, there was what? so oh, yeah. much more. You, I there had was to cut, so much more. There was an entire session that I didn't get to show, and this is another reason why what? I really want to do this post show. And that's one of the many things that I'm going to show you guys extra footage of now. I did not know this. Okay. Is this the footage from my perspective, or...? Mostly, yes. Um, so this is I've... this is never-before-seen footage of what I put Lorelei through. This is the cut-down version of what I put Lorelei through. I don't remember this. I like how you've started partially insane as well. I could tell by the color just... filters. Yep. This... Okay. I was on the outside of that are one. are real. I mean, it's true. It's true. They are. I mean, they yes, literally they are. are. They are. Literally are. So, Sol and I spent like two hours on set decoration for this. <laughs> just, left e so. just left eerie yeah, notes. <laughs> the girls. The girls are evil. Evil. The girls, e are, the girls <laughs> are evil, P. I wrote that note. I, I, I just needed I something peace. stupid. I, I love how much the insanity effects affect Lorelai, even Help. though she doesn't experience the oh, degree of most of it. We spent a lot of holes in it. We spent a lot of time on set decoration. It was yeah, absurd. Yeah. We left Lorelai waiting in call oh, no. for like 
Two hours. Yeah, you did. Oh my gosh. You guys, you guys, guys said you were going to be like 15 minutes. Insanity. Yeah, no, we like thought we would hours. need like half an hour. We got so carried away though. I love that I can tell that this is below 30 Chats insanity based on the freaking like traumatic aberration. And Nerd! The added, the added Nerd. tint. <laughs> there was- I, I okay, so the whole- I gave you 30 insanity and this the is ju The jump scare like. thing I did, I feel so stupid because of, of, of what Soul and I spent so long working on and that didn't get to show up in the video at all. <laughs> oh yeah, the cave, right? All these yeah, the cave. Lights for some reason. Wait, saplings? <laughs> Eat the berries. Wait, Eat the berries. Hold on. Eat the berries. I don't understand. I'm a little sad that okay. like well, Laurel I did not seem connect to connect to connect to the fact that that was supposed to be like a dead uh, body's like I'm items. Just... As if someone <laughs> died down before. I kinda got that, but um, I mean I was trying to play Minecraft. Yeah, you... The rumbling yeah. thing I don't think anyone picked up on this, which it wasn't exactly the most obvious of things. The rumbling was a reference to her civilization uh rumbling. streams where um, she spawned in a bunch of elephants. What is this? It's like a skeleton <laughs> graveyard. Skeleton graveyard? I think skeleton it's just a normal graveyard. graveyard. <laughs> a skeleton <laughs> okay. graveyard? You don't gotta do that to me. A <gasps> graveyard of ah, skeletons. Ah, the filter does not oh, show wait, the red eyes Lana, at all, friend. which disappointed me. No! Yeah, cause the, uh... Get away from me! The filter ah. gives extra time. Alright. Uh, I think uh, that should be all. You weren't supposed to actually go that way. The way, I um... Wasn't. Oh, that was okay. that was supposed to just be a side thing, and I considered putting up barriers, but I figured you'd see the light continuing to go down and be enticed that way. I don't know if I even noticed. Uh, That's Mumei's nightmare. Me. That so you can uh, see. Oh yeah, the so face. So directly yeah. to your left, you, uh, you see. Soul and I spent like an hour trying uh, to get yeah. right. <laughs> and you spent an hour yeah, trying to get that right. Built, oh, I didn't even notice uh, we built, it. We built Mumei's nightmare thing. Hopefully, it shows, it's visible in your footage. Oh yeah, point. I see it. No, I didn't oh. even look at it. I didn't even look at the That's face. That's neat. Oh, that's sad. I tried my best, okay. and I, I did not get to use that at all, which kind of saddened me. That's really yeah. sad. I have like a heart out in like 15 minutes. Fair enough. Really? You, you were here for the main thing I wanted to hear for, which was yeah. covering your session. Now back to the actual video. I can't believe <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> Just insane laughing. That, that, that laughing was just us laughing at how absurd we, this we whole had, thing is. We'll, we'll um, so this is, a, this is a double whammy of two smaller things to cover, just real quick before we get back to the to the video. This should be the last intermission for a while. So apparently the soundboard's not working. No, that should be, that should be, as long as you have a texture pack working, that should be working. Um, so this is us troubleshooting have, that real Okay, quick. could you, no one die in the meantime. <laughs> Nobody die. Nobody no, die in the meantime, creeper. everyone proceeds Aww. to start dying. <laughs> sleeper spawn, someone's okay, so on fire. Okay, so I think we might creepers. actually, so that this is where everyone hears it for the first time. Uh, we're supposed to hear Fauna. It's brain-based, it's brain space because it's coming from Kashino, maybe. He has to be close. Yeah, oh, maybe. So frustrating. I guess so? And Kashino's job became ten times can, harder. Can do it again. <laughs> yeah, do it again. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be real, I'm surprised that was the actual answer. I thought I was... Did you guys hear that? You were 100% yeah, correct. Yeah, I, I had to, like, close. I had I to, like, cling it. myself okay, to people. Okay, I'm glad I... And worry, one other really play short play. blooper. Oh my god, I dodged all of its arrows. I'm I'm not normally good. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to intervene! Oh, TJ, I want you to know this I watched that happen. Yeah? Yeah, this is in the video. Oh, yeah, is in the video. Oh, you put Jesus. music to it. No, no, what's not in the video is- Holy crap, there's so many of them! What's not in the video is this. Oh my god! I actually went down to four! <laughs> that was the right. video! Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, Thankfully, Thomas got like put in danger. Oh my god, I the perfect time to cut away from almost that. Almost got us all killed. Yeah. You you can definitely okay, tell. I think there's a shot. Behind. Like, if you know, you can tell. But if you oh, don't, yeah. you you have no way of. I can't Snippets believe I actually almost the killed a lot of us. Is, is <laughs> I am being like, where's quote? And TJ being like, he'll be along. Um, so, so, <laughs> yeah. So, well, I, I, include, I include that dialogue. <laughs> and notice in this section, now that you know, you can hear what I'm wanting to say, but. Uh, disguised in what I actually say. Yeah, <laughs> no, like you said that. Like, I can't Ooh. believe I actually almost killed a lot of us. I almost <laughs> killed a lot of us. Okay. As like a bit, everyone I was like, <laughs> "Okay, I'm just gonna run ahead of everyone and be back." Everyone at the house should have first. a I was sitting at the house at this point for like five minutes, wondering <laughs> when no one was coming home. Like so, I couldn't have been that fast, right? You you messed me up because like I was I was like I have to revive quote. And I was like, okay, so where, I was like, where do I put him? And so like, I teleport to Seoul and I'm like, 
oh, they're at the house already. How are they at the house already? And I'm like, look around. Like, Wait, it's only Soul. And I'm like, I accidentally like, ran like, ahead of the else? group because of a bit I wanted to do. And then I sat there for five minutes waiting for everyone because un unbeknownst to me, TJ fell into a hole and Cole died. <laughs> and this really demonstrates how I thought ahead about everything. Because I said, because I, I'm pretty sure I included in the instructions, if you end up dying before you're supposed to at any point, message Casino, he will handle it. <laughs> it was oh, tricky because I, I wanted Quote to get his items back, so I spawned him like where he was, but like you guys started going towards the house when I did that. It's so, like I spawned him in and then I looked around, I was like, they're leaving him, they're leaving him behind. <laughs> He's like getting his items. <laughs> Dude, there was more Kashino stress in this than I realized. Oh, this was yeah, so stressful. Kashino went through hell for this. <laughs> I, at some point, obviously I don't expect you to do this for this, but like, one of these days, I'm gonna re-download my footage, and I'm just like gonna cut it down a bit to show you guys just how, like, like, just how much, how many hats I had to wear during this. It was crazy. This is not a This is okay. Nah, I make right. myself laugh way too much. <laughs> Cause you're funny. No, you're funny. That's a zombie noise. Where's Fauna? And now at this point, oh, we just hear her frequently. You know, maybe she started streaming again. We can check. You yeah, gave me yeah, a perfect out with this Kyle we Like, like yeah. well, yeah. well done. I didn't have an idea. Oh, I didn't have an idea for why we would head back. You gave me the perfect out for it. <laughs> so another thing I want to point out. Another thing I want to point out real quick. Another point later on in the recording, I take us back to this area because when looking at the map, Lou pointed out that there was a very funny shipwreck that was just completely beached. I want to say it's like, I keep thinking when we get here, oh, we went too far, I have no idea where it is. But then when I went back into Spectator after all of this, it was literally like two chunks to our right. Yeah, it's like 30 blocks. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, we just barely miss it. Literally like, so this is the bit immediately after we figure out, oh, the sounds only play in proximity to Kashino. Yes. So imagine my disdain and stress when the <laughs> first thing you do after figuring that out is create the biggest spread of the entire recording. You guys were everywhere. <laughs> has imbued our compasses with the power of nature. That's awesome. <laughs> that, that's, that's awesome. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, TJ. Fauna will save you. Oh my god, I dodged all of its arrows. Oh, I'm not going to answer cameo! Oh god! <laughs> oh my god, I actually genuinely get, almost got Why us all killed. Hold down when he told hold I include that clip compass, entirely though, just because I found it funny how everyone, you can hear how badly I wanted to say I can't believe I actually got quote killed. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Maybe she's back. Yanachi, I love Yanachi. She was inside the whole thing. I just like enamored with her. So funny. <laughs> That's such a good noise! You, this is the point where I realized you guys might have- We're not okay. You guys might have we two brain cells competing for third. Like, throughout this entire thing. Like, this, this, fucking this, fucking <laughs> this fucking bit. This fucking bit. This fucking bit. This is what I got here five minutes like earlier. No I- when you guys do this, see in my spectator footage, I was There's watching it, I stop moving because I'm like, I start laughing too hard that I, <laughs> I, I take my hand off the mouse. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'm pretty sure your TV settings just are wrong. Building just building a tree. Like... No! Don't touch the TV! Oh. <laughs> God. That's so my good. My mic's there for where... a second. That moment from Soul terrified me so much my fingers genuinely forgot what button did what you can see it's <laughs> starting to like shift instead of run when i meant to sprint away oh, because oh, it's so, so terrified me so bad yeah, that's that's that so i genuinely funny. forgot what to do on the keyboard like you can see me <laughs> so starting to shift I was like, my mic soul got doing so that? bad no, it does and it's never amazing never heard souls might go by that i i Whoa. Looking back at that, I actually reflect on how I could have edited that better, because honestly, I didn't edit the, the shaking as well as I could have now in modern day, but that's fine. I do like the, I do like how much I just make your vision turn to red in pure rage. So, pure my rage. entire idea was I would go home early, sit in front of the TV, and just someone, anyone, would come into the house, and would see me stare at the TV, I would slowly turn to them and be like, I'm watching the stream right now. And then I just went with it. I just, the, the, the bit went from there. Well, the fact that Thomas are... wanted to pause right there is the perfect time uh... for one. Laurel, I imagine now is probably the time where you want to go.
Yeah. So thank you, thank you for joining. I appreciate you. I appreciate retreat. having you here. Is now oh, is care. the perfect time to show what Kyogre went through because there was a solid eleven and a half minutes of footage after I cut it down, and okay. God, we got yeah. to see I want to say three of that. Okay, yeah, well, you told me that I am supposed to just just live as long as I can, right? So I, I was I not going to take that. I and be said, like, All right. live as long as you want to. Right. I did right not as say I as want long to. as you can. I said as right. long as you want to. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay, I got to go a solid like couple minutes at least. I can't. Like, it's got to be longer than like two or three. I had to go on an adventure of some kind. I had to give you something to work with. You gave me too much to work with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. You can just hear the bit going. Oh yeah, on I forgot. Kashino had the idea of making a fucking shrine before the recording. Dude, we were. We were he was like, TJ was like, can you put creepy? another portal in here? And I was like, can I put a hero brine all No, there was, there? no, the nether portal like, was already here. The no, world. I didn't talk about this. The world oh. seed just had a ruined portal here. What uh, I told. Oh right. Yeah, it just had a ruined portal in the mountainside, and it wasn't. It was originally just covered up exactly like this with the two nether rack there perfectly. Like Lou showed me this seed, and I'm like you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, no, you you instructed me. You were telling me like when we're gone, I need you to to swap out this stone for nether rack. Yeah. We don't want it to be noticeable until after they get back. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. But then I'm looking at it. I was like, can I can I do a little something? And he was like, okay. And I I. Hollowed out the wall, and he's like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "I'm making a hero brine altar." You must teach to not be violent. <laughs> Neon in the background. <laughs> must teach to not be violent. I turned around at the perfect time for that. <laughs> you turn around at the perfect oh, no, time for a lot somewhere. of things. <laughs> I know what I must do. Yes. Just insane, like yes, oh, yes. Losers. I just love how you just think your insanity know where Fauna and is. Only I know Fun where fact. Fauna is. I was the one that she guided to this place. Another thing we're noting. I don't noting, know why Fauna led me here. I did no did. looking into I the nether this. on the seed. The no, heads didn't. of her. <laughs> Dude, I'm going insane. I've survived yeah. 15 minutes without Fauna. You think <laughs> I can't survive you, you invisible <laughs> creature in the darkness? Pickaxe. No armor. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a <laughs> noise you just made. It was a gas noise, I think. You <laughs> are the enemy to Fauna! And I so am cool. her chosen Fauna. one. The only one Got she's guided I... through this path. Yeah, I I it's went with mine. the whole serv or savior complex thing yeah. on this. Maybe that's the right there, but like you don't you don't get to really see that in the full cut. No, uh, not at all. Like, Probably fine. I I was going the whole chosen one route, and I I think it was a great way to do it. It really was. Uh, another thing I another thing I forgot to mention during uh, that I want to talk about during the Lorelei uh, Lorelei intermission was that uh, Lorelei's death w was built in necessity, and I feel like. Kind of largely due to Kyogre's whole nether thing. Because some, at some point in editing, someone, I think it was quote, pointed out the fact that every death resembles one of the seven deadly sins. There it is. I was waiting no, for that. that was... Talking about Kyogre's god complex here, um, I think it's a so good time made to bring him that pride? up. So yeah, like... Kyogre's very obviously pride. In terms of the seven deadly sins, we added Lorelai's death entirely for the sake of having someone to resemble Envy at that point, which is kind of sad because of how much we had to cut out of it, and it really does feel out of place in the final cut, I think, which is my biggest regret, but 30 minutes is hard to work with. <laughs> you, you look familiar. <laughs> I feel like you must be- What do I mean by that? I don't like, know. a pig? I, I was asking, you, you said that, and I teleported to you, because I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> and I got no answers. And then... Oh, my confusion. <gasps> this is where the god complex really comes in. I'm not afraid, Fauna! I'm not afraid! I knew I was your chosen one! <laughs> I knew you picked me! Kashino you know picked posers. the best they don't understand. He could no. have. Look at me grabbing these torches because I didn't have any resources whatsoever, oh, yeah. given just me, the fact I that knew, this is all planned. There's a little like, thing where I learned that I can use the flint and steel. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna see just, that. Yeah, I think you see that for a second in the main cut, but like you don't really get the context for it. No, you don't. We get to see you navigate with just a single torch. Yeah. By the way, by the way, as you saw in Lorelai's footage. It's supposed to light your way for you locally. It does not do that. <laughs> yeah. 
That's you didn't have all to find, did you? I heard another friend. I not. No, I had a specific mod Hello? for that. It wasn't working for some reason, though, for Kyogre, just Kyogre. I also thought that lighting would help, Diamonds! Diamonds! You're useless. <laughs> no way! I forgot! I forgot how I did that! <laughs> <laughs> That's so oh good. You wouldn't. <laughs> These are useless. I can't see the floor, and I'm not positive. I love how you decided to I'm take stupid. It. Hold on. I found I'm actually a, a new genius. source of light. This was this was the test that Fauna gave me all along. I'm a genius. You are nothing. This is how every you are nothing to me. This is how every technical difficulty be accidentally resulted in this, something amazing. This, I believe this at this point, like Yanashi is dead. <laughs> If there's My one God. thing I know, but this must be where there, she is. No. This must is be her nature. force, her homeland, or something along yeah, those I'm lines. Yeah, I'm like on a distant island. Did you just light the fire in front of you? Your you chosen chosen I did. I definitely did do that. <laughs> this is where I need to be. I just know. I know Fauna would never let a so creeper blow me up. Why I'm treating her like she's God? At this point, everyone is tricking me by the sanity effects. Exactly. I'm too insane for them to make me insane. Just like everyone else. I'm just pretty sure we're on our way to where always Luda thinking is here. you know where Fauna is, or maybe they yeah. always knew. This is a Gavis battle ass Maybe you're right just here. the one that's hiding. It totally Fauna. is. They thought that Fauna would ever, ever find them. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> man. Them find you're her. all delusional no. except Tom. You. <laughs> no, except you know me. I'm is, the only right? non-delusional one. You want Clearly, I... you're here, in the four. Yeah, there it is. Um... Fauna. That changed everything. Fauna! I went out of my way to go into a very lit place, because I, at this point, realized you were having a hard time seeing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew! Thomas is fine! I knew you were here! Blissful Wonderland, is this is no your home! This is where you're from! I knew you chose me, Fauna! I knew it! Dude. I don't even know if I could repeat I this. I would be surprised you're nothing. if you could. <laughs> which I am the one that Fauna always movies. wanted to meet. I just saw her. I saw her off in the distance. He's just running in circles. He's not even getting closer. Think you're anything? I am Fauna's chosen one. You are nothing compared to me. Kill nothing. Falcon with a wooden sword. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is when I was like preparing to start dying. I was so worried that that Hoglin would kill you. I was like, she spoke I to me. I know she's here. I know yeah, someone knows that she's that comes here. In, so I had to hand it up. Where yep. are you? Basically, when you started do doing that, for I was me. like. You know, I like how he saw her, her and yet he stop hiding from me. Energy. Yeah, tell me where I'm she pissing is. Pissing everyone else for hiding her from me. It's only a matter of time until she she greets me. Until I find her, she wants me to find her. To she find her. Me? Yeah. Okay, can we pause there for a second? You want me? Okay. I need her. I I literally because look, I'm going insane. I'm intent like I am like intentionally going wild. Oh, of course. I I did not ever want to like give the implication that I'm like she wants me. She wants to be with me. So I said that, and then my brain, although I'm like complete acting mode, I'm like. Hold on, let's maybe let's maybe no, say not something not else <laughs> to change the context of that, because that is that's not so what funny. I meant. So, that's another clip that I really wish I could have there's so many things I wish I could have included but that I couldn't. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright. Just make the extended cut easy. I I'm probably I'm I might. That might be a sister video to the to the post show. Who knows? Sapling separation. I thought you were about to say cut. Yeah, potentially. Tell me. <laughs> this is Tell where me. it really goes to eleven. <laughs> Yeah. Tell you me already where she is! You're bullying a child. I know she's waiting for me. It's worth I it. I know, somewhere, she's waiting <laughs> for so me. True. You're missing just all tell me. swings. I, I, tell me! I, just tell I me! I am not stable right now. <laughs> that, that piglet had no reason to go after you, but you were attacking its child. <laughs> Yeah. Because you had a you had a gold armor, people. so you would have been fine. You want to die! It's because you were attacking him then. Then, yeah. you will tell me where she is! Like, I know where you know. Because I know, I know that you know where she is. <laughs> like I know where you know. She's <laughs> running out of steam. She clearly, she she must. I saw her. I would never mishear her voice. Tell me where Fauna is. Tell me. Tell me. And then I go to crying. Fauna. <laughs> <laughs> So I would like to- I have a few thoughts about Kyogre's segment. This, this oh, segment good. was so stressful because, because 
So first of all, the, the reason I knew the commands, I don't think you remember this, but in our preparation session where we like, where I built things and we discussed what we were going to be doing. Yeah, yeah. We actually listened to every single added voice line individually. And so, so I was trying to hit Kyogre with like ones that would be fitting, but also you guys were going to do important things. Kyogre's section was supposed to be short. He was supposed to go to the nether, he was supposed to die. That's <laughs> no. what I was told. When, no. I, when, we were, when we were discussing all the deaths, you said to me, Kyogre's gonna go to the nether and he's gonna die. And I went, okay, makes sense. And I mean, so, okay, here's the thing. I also didn't no, expect no, no. you I'm to follow you. him. <laughs> I'm not blaming you. I expected you, you to I'm follow just... us and that for Kyogre to go on his own delusional adventure no, without no. any motivation out. pushing him I'm forward. Not, I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> well, I guess I am. I'm blaming Kyogre. So I go back to the group, but again, I'm in a call where I can hear all of you at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh god! So, and so I'm listening to everybody, and I'm like in your proximity, and I'm just listening to Kyogre. <laughs> and after a little while, I'm like, he's still, he's still not dead. <laughs> he's still not and so, dead. And so I'm like, I don't want to just like leave him out to dry. And so this entire segment, like my fingers, I locked in, dude. I like I've never locked in this hard. I'm like, TP to DJ, TP to the camera, TP to DJ, TP to camera. Holy crap! And I'm like, I'm like, see I'm like sound effect here, sound, sound effect here, so sound effect here. I'm like appear to Kyogre, and I'm like trying to appear to Kyogre. But there were times where it's like, like Kyogre's doing things. I, I'm warping to him so I could make sure that like he's like functional. And then I'll hear like, I'll hear like. Kashino, that's your cue. It'll be like, frick! <laughs> and then I play a sound oh like somebody God. else and I warp back to Kyogre. <laughs> Holy crap! Like, and like, there, there were a few times where somebody would be like, Kashino, I think you're supposed to do something here. And I would like have to like rapidly teleport back. Like, it was... I don't remember any this of that. entire segment was so stressful. I was like rapid fire back and forth. Like they were like, "There's not a lot of sounds." I'm trying. I'm trying. Damn. Like, and then Nyanichi died, and I was sitting there, and I was like, "But Kyogre, but he's still alive." And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like warping between them. I'm like, "Okay, I gotta, give, I gotta give Nyanichi the, the golden apple sound effect." So I'm giving Nyanichi the golden apple stuff, and then I'm warping back to Kyogre. And I'm like, "Okay, okay." And then I, I give Nyanichi more. I like Nyanichi died, and then Kyogre kept going because I was like watching Kyogre fight a hoglin with a wooden sword. I was like, surely he doesn't live there. No, I'm a and gamer! Killed, and then, I'm like, what? He killed a wither skeleton, he killed a ghast, <laughs> he killed a hoglin, yeah. he killed multiple hey, we, we, we were on these. I was following Luzelia, and, and I was like, I was like, they're getting dangerously close to the house, and Kyogre's still alive. Like, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> the intent. I appeared before you and I backed off, and I, I made a very specific choice. I was on a tree that was like next to a drop into lava, and then I backed off into the lava. And I was like, please just jump into the lava so that you can die before losing <laughs> Nope. He didn't, nope. didn't see you. <laughs> I know. And I was like, okay. And then you, then I like... Eventually you died, and I was like, oh my gosh, and I warped to Luzalia, and then she dies, I was like, holy cow! <laughs> like, Dude, you were going through it, damn! And like, and like, I was giving people the insanity effect, and I was like, kind of warping back to you, and I was like, he's going crazy! I was like, I need him to die, so I just like, pumped you full of insanity. <laughs> you you single-handedly made that entire chunk the most stressful thing I've done in years. <laughs> in years? Damn! <laughs> Fucking... Film director, don't got it easy. My God! All right, <laughs> back to back to back to the back far. to the back to the regular footage now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, man, all I'm saying is my spectator POV kind of kind of yes. gas. I know what I must do. It probably would have been. I didn't. Fun is enough. always on HDMI one because fun is number one. Is it at all? Oh, that's a good one. I remember that. HDMI number Banger one. line. <laughs> oh, guys, it is on HDMI two. <laughs> oh. <my God. laughs> Yes. What? Yes. <laughs> so funny. Okay, well, this was just a this was Maybe a random we were song going. that I heard from. Maybe we were oh wait. Going in the right direction this After, whole time, uh, the one that's about to play the is a random song that, that I just heard in white that I really love. Say, wow. I don't know if it's the most fitting, we're but going I'm going glad I included it. I actually really like this song for what it is. Even in vibe of adventure. It's a good song. You can tell Nyan was having a lot of fun because he could have chosen to stop here, but he decided to keep going. And her chosen one, one hell, the only one she's guided gas. to this path. I know. Oh, this part right here. I will survive. He should not have lived as long as he did. <laughs> yes, I should have. I'm a gamer. <laughs> the music stopped by the Wait, glass breaking. Yeah. <laughs> and it just disintegrates. <laughs> 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 what if he's actually found That's her? That's probably fine. <laughs> That's probably fine. <laughs> I just love that he keeps placing one board. So this is one of my favorite subtle details about this. Um, this is where I get to shill 
my favorite game that I played around this time. When I was going through the maximum stress of editing this, and I was like, okay, I need to send Fauna a super chat. I happened to tune in to the end of her playing a indie game known as Slay the Princess. And that game Don't is fucking incredible. Its soundtrack is insanely good. It's it's ba the base the way I would describe it is that it's basically a horror visual novel crossed with Stanley Parable decision tree making. And it if anyone who is watching this or anyone on the call who has not played it, I highly recommend it. You can probably sit down and finish it in like a six hour session and it's entirely worth it. And if you think that's all there is to it, no. There's way, there are so many paths to like, that's just to finish the game. There are so <laughs> many variations of paths you can do. And since this has come out, the game has also received a massive update. And honestly, I what my favorite thing about this was I decided, okay, I need I need I need a soundtrack to use for um, Kyogre's journey and uh, and Nianchi dying. And I settled on two pieces, which I think perfectly encapsulates the dynamic of of Nianchi ascending to heaven and Kyogre and Kyogre fucking trudging through to the, the despair of hell. This is just my chance to just. Tell everyone how much I love this game Free and how much marketing. I heavily recommend that Free people marketing. play this game. <laughs> Pure passion feeling right there. Genuinely, like I, like I, have, I don't remember the last time I played a game that spoke to me as much as that game did. But yeah, um, that, I just I just wanted to get I'm that out of the way. I'm not afraid, Fauna. So I'm not we get to afraid. hear the fury as we watch one. Kyogre's My dearest whole goddess. thing. Forgive me for chopping down this tree with my bare hands. We see Nanachi committing blasphemy. The needs of the few outweigh the needs of the many. I don't know if she was happy that I did that. You can't see Yo, if Fauna lives in the swamp, do you think she's friends with Shrek? Oh my god! Why would you oh, say that? Hey, you guys see that, that Shrek sick was announced for? Tell me! Tell me! That's, that's not a lie, I'm not making shit up. We don't have the I love how, I, I love, I love, okay, if I, I, I want to talk about dead portraits. I think Kyogre's okay. dead portrait might be my favorite. <laughs> yeah, uh, Just the so, in yeah. his eyes. I, I guess now is a good time to explain Fuck. that. Um, I, basically, Fauna has an emote that is just like, oh, yeah, the yeah. expression is the, is the base portrait of like every seven of us, except for Thomas, mm -hmm. where it's with the crying eyes. And people generally associate that with the like ooh meme, right? Yeah. I was talking that, about that, that earlier. Does. At at some point, like I think right after recording, uh, I'm like talking to TJ, and I'm like, dude, I have the dumbest idea for portraits. What if just everyone is the f uh, is an ooh emote? <laughs> what if everyone is just that except for Thomas? Well, Thomas wasn't an entirely normal per se either, because Thomas has still had the inspiration of being based off of a. Uh, so I never know how it's pronounced. I say it so often, but I think it's called a giant. Uh, it's like G Y A T. -E. Yeah. It's like the remember rem rem happy day. So uh, I just m I make TJ's uh, portrait for that. And TJ's like, this is so stupid. Awesome. We'll do that. <laughs> and then I go to work and I just do all of them. And then I, I realize, ah, shit, we need to do death portraits, right? We didn't have and to. I, I didn't have to, but like at some point I was like, all right, I'm, I'm making them. Fuck it. And <laughs> I didn't I'm like want to put you through this. I was like, I was <laughs> going to cut oh, every yeah, corner was... imaginable. I Because originally the idea was I was literally just going to like do minor edits to like the Holocure sapling sprite. But you just, but you sat down like, no, TJ, let me do this. And I was just like, yeah, okay. I, I, <laughs> so I do that. And again, for dead portraits, I've been brainstorming, like, what could we do? What could we do? Like, what's, what's a, what's a funny thing? And I'm like, fuck it. Let's just make it like inspired by the way they die. Yeah. <laughs> so Lorelai Which just has really the cool. ax that she's bumped the gold over axe. the head with. The gold ax just sticking out of her head. And then I, I get to Kyogre and I'm like, Dude, he sounds like he's fucking crying as he says. He's like, <laughs> yeah. ah, no. and I, I just get the that. idea of like, dude, his eyes melting with tears and this completely shaken <laughs> smile of pride. Just, ah, it's so good. It's so good. Are we going like, to talk about the rest of them as they come up, or do we want to? Yeah, uh, we, okay. I, 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 think, come up. I think it's best for me to talk about them as they come up. Alrighty. There it is. Trying to capture that emotion of this prideful dude. 
<laughs> I agree, Fun. <laughs> Thomas still reacts to the voice lines. Yeah, no, no, that's me in real life. You have to understand, ASMR makes me intensely uncomfortable. <laughs> You guys don't understand. When he hears a heartbeat, he has to make it stop. <laughs> that do not take that out of context. That's a an in joke. Okay, so when I, I I mentioned, dude, I really like heartbeat ASMR. It's like really chill for me. And Thomas is like, no. Nah. Whenever I hear a heartbeat, I get the urge to make it stop or something like that. <laughs> that's so funny. That's such a raw line. Holy crap. <laughs> Sentence is a fucking psychotic murderer would say. So when I hear Fauna whispering sweet nothings in people's ear, and it's in one ear specifically, I feel my body shudder like a like a vi like a xylophone, and I'm like, it's it, it's Ugh. extremely funny because like because Thomas uh, never got any of the insanity effects, he never heard any of it. Well, he yes, didn't. which he's, is why he's basically hearing it for the first time now. I'm, I don't know if you yes, ever watched which the is actual. Why I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I think it adds to the just the creepy nature of the entire video, honestly. I love that. A lot of I, fans I guess would be now's, a, now's a good time to talk about with the process I went through of getting these voice lines. Because these are all in-game. I don't think I talked about enough in about the fact that these are all playing to us in-game. Thanks to Ellie for helping me set those up with the play sound command. Um, and just having them as just files in a custom resource pack. That was basically all it took. The process I went through, I listened to like, I want to say three to four fauna ASMRs back to back to just get the most just unnerving things I could imagine fauna saying. And thankfully she gave me a lot to work with between both her say. debut ASMR and her frog ASMR. Both of yeah, those but... two videos in particular make up like 90% of what you hear. Crazy. Yeah, I just want you to know how much dread I went through when we were discussing the setup for this. And he went, oh yeah, by the way, I have these sound commands for like her ASMR stuff and I'm gonna need you to play them. And I went, TJ, <laughs> <laughs> TJ, no. <laughs> Dude, I was a soldier on the battlefield during this recording, I swear to God. Yeah, the, this the whole was, was, was actually more... just a torture you Gino. Didn't, you didn't know what you signed up for. <laughs> The more we get into this, the more I feel solidarity with Kishino for understanding just how what we were being asked to do. <laughs> Thomas, I, I need you to understand, you and I are in the same boat, it's just that I was behind the scenes and you were on the scene. You were behind yeah. the wheel, uh, Thomas was a passenger. <laughs> yeah, you were on the in the wheel, I was locked in the trunk. I was so excited, and then we all like got together, and I was like, Oh, this is gonna be a ride. <laughs> <laughs> I made the- I mixed the audio pretty That's poorly true, here. That's true, It doesn't matter I got too immersed in the Play of the Princess it music. Matter. It doesn't matter if it's reality. If I eat this apple that you've given me- <laughs> I don't even need to pause true. this one. Um, <laughs> no, not his death is bloodnate. <laughs> that I can one eat they- and they obvious. killed it. They definitely <laughs> killed it. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, sorry. Name. And when it's double death. Have the golden apple it's reserved for only the most extreme kisses. Yes. I love how I muffled the audio. It's that, that was a good choice. Yeah, 1000%. Yeah, I think that was right. And then he fucking crawls to the altar. <laughs> Thomas is like, are you okay? Yeah, I'm like, what's going on? What? Talk to us. And I'm just muffled. It's perfect. This, this was perfect. The, the dead portrait was this was one of the most fun ones to make just pure bliss at eating the golden apple and no, golden yes. tear streaks oh down his eyes where are we going as would be expected where are we going? bros on Five. where are we going this is where i'd get us actually lost trying to find that fucking sunken ship <laughs> Nice. I, cause I was like, we have a little bit more time before Lou's supposed okay, to die. Okay, no, yeah. this does not look familiar was, at all. Wait, oh, I are we back in track of what's really important? Okay. Wait, why are you I, love, I love whenever we cut to Thomas oh, and he's God. just completely normal. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? It's time to start talking about my quote unquote death portrait, I think. Because now you can see that I'm just like, yeah. what is going on? Ooh, because I just hut. I think it's Fauna's. I don't think that's it's true. Fun. It's cool, so let's check you guys it out. cooked with this hut, by the way. It looks great. This was Lou. This was all Lou. <laughs> Lou cooked. <laughs> what is it? There's nothing here. <laughs> There's nothing. Okay, 
I, I forgot about, okay, I need to talk about that death, because <laughs> after editing Kyogre's fucking god complex, <laughs> and then Nyanachi's Nyanachi eating a like poisoned Nyanachi golden apple and dying on a fucking altar. I was just like, wait, fuck, Lou's death is next. How the fuck do I totally shift from those two God. deaths that were completely and utterly just morbid to just whatever the fuck that was? <laughs> I I don't think I can possibly understate like the deafening silence that came for me when we were doing preparation, TJ was explaining each death to me, and he, and he explained this one to me. Yeah. He was like, they're gonna open the chest, they're gonna get poisoned. I was like, why? Why are they gonna get poisoned? He was like, they're gonna see an image. Uh, a, uh, a, 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 a less so than ominous. savory image. And I, and I was like, okay. You make it sound so much worse than it was. Some, uh, Luz decided that she wants her death to be like very horny based. And I was like, okay. Uh, she, she like This gif was like very notorious at the time for being like, like for making saplings act up. Why? Uh, it's not even that it, much. Well, it's it, just her back. Exactly. It's her I agree. Thomas. Thomas, I agree. Thomas. I agree, Thomas. Thomas. But like Thomas. at the Thomas. same time. Everybody shut the fuck up. God, this is quotes. This is quotes place. It is Sarah's fauna undressing. Who into cares? A She's still suit. dressed. She's still dressed. She Look at this. actually removing her clothing, Thomas. She just heard that. Thomas that is angry. just your shoulders. You this is pretty impressive, yeah. Fans. TJ, keep this, this in. Is, this is. Oh, I think it is. Oh my god, I love that I'm friends with these two. I. <laughs> It's the horniest it's, it's motherfucker nothing. on the planet, and the unhorniest like, motherfucker on the planet, and they're both my man. best friends. Let's, bro, like, in the grand scheme of everything Fauna could be drawn in, that is nothing. Like, I would like uh, was to claim shoulders. that I am on the Thomas and Kashino side of this. I just want that to be done. Okay, I, cool. I only wish to explain that uh, Lou's death portrait is just the flushed emoji. Oh yeah, it's just her flushed oh, emoji. Oh yeah, it is. It's just flushed emoji with like it's... a heavy blush and paler skin. Yeah, um, I I, think I didn't know how to edit this. The most I could think of was like, okay, are people going to get this? I was like, okay, what's the most like blatant way I can indicate what's happening to Lou? And it's just like, I, I could just hear Risu's voice. Origa! Set! Oh my god, you cut out completely there. <laughs> yeah, Producer and both wanted this death. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I think it's very funny that it, it came down between the person playing as Ollie and the person playing as Marine. That oh my god. Oh my you're god. Right. You're, that you're makes right. perfect sense. You're totally and right. Then... Oh my god. But yeah, the 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 total whiplash of going from those last two deaths to fucking lose. Um all I can say is I'm glad that Lou won the argument because having to throw quote into that situation instead of Lou, that would have been difficult. Because like naturally, I wanted to give special attention to the three people who founded the group chat. You had you had the three of you who started it, and then me, which is I think you called me the rhombus of that group the of that rhombus? trio. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah the rhombus of the friend group because like this. I made a diagram. I don't know if I can find it. Fuck. It's probably just images in our DMs. I found it. I found it. I love yeah. how I posted. Behold. Oh, <laughs> right. it. I, it's not necessarily quote, Let's Plays, but it is very specifically well, like you guys have like recorded Soul stuff. Or the trio. Yeah. You guys have like, recorded stuff. Souls, the, yeah, we do stuff idea. together. We're pals. And then also you three are like a trio. And that is why on Discord, when I like have your profile and there's notes at the bottom, you are referred to as the Rhombus. <laughs> Apolization <laughs> and period. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's a you are, you are the rhombus, my friend. <laughs> I love how I didn't bother to capitalize anyone's names. <laughs> the D and J stands for the, and the J stands for rhombus. <laughs> that was when this editing went from, I'm getting way too immersed in this, and this actually is genuinely becoming a horror video, to, oh fuck, my, the, the joke from earlier is coming back to haunt me. <laughs> no, I think the fact that it's a horror video is fucking amazing. It's I agree. Just, 
I most got people notes who that this was the only one that actually scared like half the people <laughs> yeah. who watched all the jam. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, oh, I, know. Actually I heard that, and it made me so happy, and it made me so sad. And yet, and yet, it didn't even make the top five best entries, despite the fact that it has more views than any of them. I do, I fucking hate the hardcore community. <laughs> well, no, I get it. There were a lot of really good ones. There were. But no, I feel I'm, like I'm, that, that last part's a joke. I don't actually feel resentful about that. Right. Right. <laughs> this was the first this, yeah. thing I've ever actually like fully edited. I think I did a good job. I would still call this my magnum opus even now, but I I understand. Uh, oh yeah, more Necrodancer. I forgot Necrodancer. Makes another oh, appearance here. She has yeah. to. What a fucked up day. <laughs> what a fucked up day. <laughs> has it already been a year since I've seen oh, that video? Like, uh, there's a lot of fucked up Fuck! shit happening. God! What a fucked what? up day! <laughs> my god, what the fuck is that? And then what? this starts happening. Oh my god. <laughs> what? So, uh, this may be a good what point to mention that I had never played with the Insanity mod up until this. I did not know that those creatures, like, would just be a thing. I- that was a, a genuine reaction. I yeah. play a lot no, of- you'll, you'll, you'll a see. lot of my reactions are played up. In this, so you can tell what that this one, one was real. It's one. just what the fuck is that? Yeah, your your voice <laughs> actually changes here in a very notable way. Like it's obvious. <laughs> we need fauna. What? What are you talking? What do you see? I don't know what I'm seeing, but I don't want to be near it. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. I'm sure. What genuine she's reaction. You know, what is you, that? Even fauna is. Oh my right. god. That's a that is terrifying. <laughs> Where the yeah. fuck? I, miss I forgot how much this Over I did there. keep in, actually. <laughs> we found there you! you. Gonna say, I thought we cut, like, a lot Fana. of this. No, I, I didn't remember no. this even being a plot point at all. No. Yeah, I forgot that we kept that in. <laughs> I fucking- I fucking love, quote, Im imitating the words on screen. We found you! <laughs> this is good. We no, we found you, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> the sheep, I forgot the, the sheep! The sheep? <laughs> yeah, the sheep. Um, Again, genuine reaction there. Oh, I don't what the think fuck that's is with I that don't sheep? Think that's a sheep? My oh, voice just completely drops yeah. back to my regular that pitch. Is a sheep. It's so good. just seems a normal sheep, and we just gang up on it. Why are you scared it. of me? Why are you I did this scared bit of me? At least twice. What? But then this time you guys actually me? saw it and joined in on it, which was wonderful. This part was weird because I wasn't insane. But I could see the white eyes, if I recall dangerous. correctly. Right, I think you can, yeah. I'm pretty sure in spectator mode, mode you can back, see, like, the layers put on top of it. It's still perfect to mention it here, because this is the point where, like, everyone is starting to see all the insanity stuff. And I'm just- and you guys flip back to me, it's like, that's a tree? Yeah. This is a normal sheep? Yeah. And it's just talking heightening about? everything. Again, I love that moment with the sheep where it's like, I'm 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 playing it up like uh, I'm like whining and then I see the sheep and I'm like what the fuck is with that sheep? Yeah, <laughs> like my voice just completely drops well, back to my regular up. pitch for yeah. like a split second. Okay, now I'm really there, getting concerned. What? Why are you talking about demons and things getting dark? This is this is not okay. You guys have a spirit yeah. force, maybe? We can't, we can't return, you guys. I you don't even believe in She's her. She's on your television God. We have to be a little realistic, don't we? It was very funny to listen to there. Thomas go home. Just the next death in quotation marks. Because now there's a new dynamic guys, without Thomas. Probably make I miss Fana. I remember sitting here being like, <laughs> so like how do I get the phantoms to focus on Oh, he's dead. Like, as opposed Sol and I were actually, like, focusing on surviving. Of course, Fauna. Don't worry, Chip. Right. Quote's death was the only one that genuinely surprised me when I was watching, like, when I was spectating. I forgot, I, was like, I forgot Quote, Quote, like, Quote, Quote, Quote They just died. I forgot Quote's portrait is actually pretty good. He's like, um, PN. Quote's dead portrait is the pensive emoji, I'm essentially. I'm just <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's the pensive emoji, but, like, I'm, I, I gave it extremely, like, uh, heavy uh, eye bags, mm -hmm. and I uh, did like a fucking scribble at the side. I, like, I guess my death is lost. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah, I guess we didn't mention it with Lou, but Lou's obviously lost, right? Yeah, now that we have that cut, I have one more section of cut footage to show. <laughs> Actually, is okay. It one... I was wondering if you if there was gonna be a section about this. One more section yeah. of cut footage and interspersed with I don't. This wasn't even included in the draft cuts, but I accidentally made this whole sequence better because one thing I was curious about during this was what was Thomas getting up to during all of this, 
So we're gonna see both of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. I I forgot about this. So I don't know exactly. Don't worry too much about it. Oh my god. I keep hearing so many unspeakable things. Home! Oh, home sweet home. Oh. So nice to be back. So it's you can hear my conflict. It is yeah, weird, right. Fauna. So, who am I anymore? No, we have to. We have to find Fauna. Ah. Nice and cooked. Have some food for all of them. <laughs> PJ! What? I don't think she's coming back. She has to. What do I see? She has to get, get a hold of yourself. You can you can tell that that she the has to come voice back. That Soul is doing is rubbing off on me. Yeah. <laughs> Soul, Soul, remember her like ASMR. She's in the so swamp. Funny. We just have to look harder. It'll be okay. Oh, more wheat. Yay! It may just be the two of us, but we'll get through this. We'll find her, and How everything is going to be okay. Her? We need to. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Don't go outside! Don't go outside! <laughs> you can notice the point where it just actually is genuine there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Drops again. That was genuine dread. Cause I did almost die there because Kashino was not supposed to make the the insanity creatures aggro on I me there. I will not. I will not take this slander. I, I will not take the slander. I, t I followed your instructions to a T. It was probably a failure on my part. I'm not going to I'm not going <laughs> to sugarcoat it. I probably told you to lower it too low. That is most yeah. likely what happened. I am willing to own up to that. One way or another, that wasn't the plan. I almost died there. I was like, oh shit. Through a lot of the section I am just DM and Kashino like, I think I messed up. You're not they're not supposed to be aggro yet. But while all the while Soul is trying to keep the conversation going, and a lot of this I'm just kind of a brick wall, just you can hear the typing noises from my perspective. It's really funny. We, I cut out all we of that. essentially spend a whole night cooped up in that stupid little cave. Because the original going plan insane. The original plan was that after the phantom dissipated and so and that quote was gone, we were going to explore in the darkness a lot more. The fact that we waited till morning, I think, made it better. <laughs> yeah. And you know, well, in there we'll grab a couple berries. I like berries. <laughs> Average Mume fan. <laughs> I don't even I watch Mume. I just days, think you're it's okay. We can get through this. She canceled the ASMR there. on my birthday. And here. Okay. You know, I just thought of, of the flirting versus sexual harassment meme, but it's Mume and Hachima. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. That it's accurate for Thomas. Both are cute and insane. Get in my inventory. <laughs> I don't remember anything. I like how I played up the fact that I, what did this mean get in my I feel like I'm beginning to forget Fauna's voice. All of the things I said. I don't even know for sure funny. if I hear. <laughs> no fuck. Oh god. god. <laughs> I love I love how my voice just goes to to like the normal pitch. She said if we ignore them it will go away. <laughs> and it's just it's quiet, but it's so nice when they're around. <laughs> we'll be safe in here. It's okay. It's safer here. We can we can ride we can ride the boat, and then and everything will be okay. Join me, soul. It's fun this way. Join me, soul. I'm having so much fun. Who lives in the pineapple under See? the pineapple under the pineapple? This is one of my favorite bits. Fauna. It's so dumb. It's there we so go. dumb. They, they won't even tell the difference. I want you guys to know. We'll That's my favorite bit right so It was like, I wanted to be we'll absolutely fine. When I have food, I wanted like TJ Quote and Soul to come back and each have a oh, plate of food. <laughs> there wasn't a dream. So I just cut the button on a sign and it never got noticed. TJ Quote, did you really want me to cut the boat scene? And I went, I was like, no. He's like, okay, then we can't have the then we can't have the post credit scene. I was like, okay. Yeah, that that was the thing. It was that it was either. Um, it is me, Ceres Fauna, I plant, or the boat scene, and I had to make the very difficult decision of which one to cut. Have I think the better, I think the better option of what I should have cut would have been slightly more of the intro of Fauna playing Euro Truck Simulator. And I don't think I needed plant. all of that footage. I think I could have found a way to cut that down better. Yes, we did. I definitely <laughs> thought that, but I didn't say anything because I kind of was like, fair enough. 
but... I wish you had, because I think I would have potentially agreed if I really thought about it more, because I feel like I already cut it down a lot. I could have done better. Ah. I, I don't think I knew until after, like, the jam. Like, I don't think I saw the draft. Well, you would have if you stayed in the server! <laughs> I did! I stayed in the server until like a month ago. Well, I, sh I was showing all of my work in progresses. So. Yeah, I know. I've, I've, no, this is on me. I was being late. <laughs> Fair enough. Sure. Yeah. Kishino moment. I, 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 I love how- I, that, that section was already incredible. I didn't realize how good it could have been if I interspliced Thomas's perspective in it, and this is why I'm considering genuinely doing a re-upload as a director's cut. <laughs> Yeah, just, like, I, I, I just of this is replaced with like I, I, I remember us music. just sitting in that stupid cave, and I actually sit there like, what the fuck are we even supposed to do right now? Like, what are we doing? What is next on the bullet list? Like, yeah. <laughs> and and we just spend that night in the cave, just bantering insanity back and forth, all the while with you trying to go outside, and very often just uh, me typing a casino, just like, please fix this. <laughs> Please fix it. You're, like, you're like, you said it too low. And I was like, what? I, it says right here. And you're like, you said it too low. <laughs> so I, was like, I don't okay? need to argue. Just just fix it, please. <laughs> and, and, so, and so I fixed your guy's sanity and you popped your head out. And you were like, it's still too low. And I was like, TJ, do you want me to kill the guys or do you want me to raise your sanity? Make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't know. I actually didn't know about the sexual difference. <laughs> Hearing your perspective on that is actually very useful. I didn't know. I didn't know that that was like a back and forth that you were going to. No, the, okay, this is like the only time I've ever been mad at you. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, the truth comes what out, I see. No, <laughs> Probably yeah, for good reason, got, to be fair. I was got, kind of blaming you. you, like, I think I was all caps in your DMs, like, how did you fuck this up? No, you, you <laughs> weren't all caps. I was, I was super stressed out because of all the aforementioned <laughs> stuff. Like, oh, we had yeah. a bunch of technical, we had a bunch of technical <laughs> errors. The whole Kyogre incident, like, I was like, like, my blood <laughs> pressure was through the roof. Yeah, you were like, and then you were like, you said it too high for the night. And I was like, they've been hunting you for, like, all day. Well, I think where I messed up was I was like, make sure it is a, what I meant to have in the instructions was before soul dies, make sure it stays above this number. And you probably put it at that number where I messed up was I knew that 25 was a threshold where they start attacking you. I definitely said, said at 25 by nighttime. I, I, I said at, I should have said above. So I messed gotcha. that up. Yeah. Um, you, you wanted, you wanted to be at 25 before quote even died, <laughs> which I thought was funny. Oh no. Uh, well, yeah. it's a good yeah. thing. That's, that's just shows that this was a miracle that this worked out the way it did. She canceled the ASMR on my birthday. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I remember being there in be person okay. and just seeing all the ener the life drain from your face as it you read the tweet. Okay. Doing the yeah, ASMR that was the That was the same birthday that I invited a shit ton of friends over to my house and we got racing canes. Oh my god. I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's you're totally right. You did get to see that in person. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. That's where I met Jan, actually. I'm pretty sure. It was. That was kind of the part of the reason why I brought why I thought, thought I could bring him on. Like, quote has met Jan. He was a lot more subdued so? in person. Oh yeah, obviously. Do you think so? We're fucking whimpering, we'll dude. Fucking whiny. I can't whiny. just stop moving. <laughs> whoa, whoa, isn't it real, Moko? <laughs> it's already been a year I since I've been here. That's scary. That is scary. That's the scariest part about this video. I, they were yeah, very new at the time. We have to go back into I the I still feel new. Yeah. Don't frog eat slime. Oh, there it goes. You can tell this is my suggestion because it's a Sonic song. <laughs> True. Oh, adorable. It's me. It's so this is where I'm DMing Kashino no. about the frogs. And yeah. he, he took that to mean, he took that to mean, uh, oh, I forgot about the fucking swap voice lines. I'm like, no, no, forget about the, like, if I had known that's what he was doing, I would be like, no, no, forget about that. You need to kill, you need to kill Soul. <laughs> you need to kill Soul. <laughs> so, kill this guy. So the DMs that we exchanged, oh, kill this guy. right, for the, for the frogs, right, so, like I said, I was troubleshooting the the sanity issue, and, so, and I didn't want to just like spike you up because I didn't realize there was no visual effect for going up. I thought you would like see so it very stressed. Oh my god! <laughs> and so, and so you like decrease it back to thirty and set it to zero. After I was so put on the spot because like, of the fact that he wasn't the queue doesn't start. 
And I was like, I was like slowly bumping it up, and I can like, again, I'm like tunnel visioning, but in the back of my brain, I hear you guys going like, oh, the frogs, oh man, we gotta, we gotta deal with the frogs. And I'm like, and I'm like doing this, and you're like, Kashino, Kashino, the frogs. And I'm like, oh, and I'm like, crap. And I, I go to the sound files, cause I'm panicking, and I'm like, there's frog sound effects! And I didn't know that. <laughs> but basically when you were explaining the sound files, you were like, okay, so there's different stages, right? And you, yeah, they were um, labeled based off of like and, number a numbered intensity. Yeah, there, there were there was one through six, and then yes. you you were like, and then also there's the enchanted golden apple one. Play that one for Nyanachi to tell them to die. And so I was like, okay, so the numbers. And then as we're doing the recording, like you guys are in the swamp already, and I'm like looking through sound files because like <laughs> I want to keep it fitting. And I look over, and like as I'm typing, in, normally <laughs> the reason I never caught it was because every time I did a command, I'd do slash and then just press up on the arrow key to like grab a different one and so i started typing it manually for no reason and i see fauna underscore frog and i was like what 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 <laughs> uh, yeah yeah I, exactly it was like the the i was i was freaking peter quill oh. in that moment i was like <laughs> what and so, I, so like, funny. And so I like i started so hitting bad. them with that so i was i was like rapid fire alternating between like the sound commands and trying to fix their sanity and then he's like soul apply the weather to him remove five more sanity <laughs> i was like i was like crap so, I was like, Soul's supposed this to be reads dying. like a low tier hot screen <laughs> shot <laughs> and so, it does. And so I, I start typing out the command as tj dms me this but like I, I didn't have anything to draw from, so I had to type it manually. And I was like so panicky and like shaky that like I kept like misspelling it. And I was like, I was, like I, and I was trying to play the sound effects, and because I was trying to play the sound effects, I was trying to keep up with you guys, but you guys kept running around. I cannot. So I, was like, so I, I typed wait in the command. No, 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 no. I, I, you guys are running around, and as we've already established, the sounds only play if I'm close to you guys. And so I'm like. And so I'm like typing this in, and you're like, give soul wither, and I'm like, freaking. And so I, I click, I click, I click enter, and I'm like, crap, and I, and I press slash, and I press up on the arrow key, and I'm like, I'm like running towards you guys, and I press it, and I'm typing like, effect wither, give effect wither. <laughs> <laughs> 255, true. And I'm like, they're running away. Take it, and I, I control C it. And I and I go and I run. I'm like, sound. Slide. Round three. And I'm like, oh. and I like control V and I play it. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was barely holding it together. <laughs> oh shit. If, if, oh, you ever, shit. If, you, if you're ever like splicing down the footage, I need you to cut to when you're like telling me to go slow with her. Because I was genuinely, I have never typed faster in my life. I was bad. That is so crazy. I, I'm so Fucking sorry. Like, I put I, right. I put so no, much no, pressure you're good, on you're good. you. Because you're just like, you're, okay, you're I can awesome. feel the dead air. What do I do about this? And this resulted yeah. in the accidental best moment of just improv, like on the moment thing, like in the moment thinking of like, okay, it, he, he missed his cue because originally the cue was just when we mentioned the frogs, and then like uh, that would be the, your cue to get attention, and then Soul would like touch it, and like that would just like get poisonous. But then it's like that didn't, that, that's not working. Okay, how can we escalate this? And then this happens. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Oh my gosh. But swaps to me. Venomous too. Venomous too. Venomous too. Venomous too. Venomous too. That one is. That one isn't. That one would. <laughs> uh, I like. I touch it, and I expect to die Soul. at this point. I expect it's over. Did you not hear what she said? Did you not hear what she said about the frogs? And so I have to play it off like it's normal. I, 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 I don't know if I should believe her. She left this behind. And Soul's <laughs> struggling on the spot too. <laughs> Maybe if maybe if you <laughs> maybe if you can t can get their eyes, you can uh, the demons will go away like like what Fauna said. You can get their eyes, so I so then give me your eyes through extremely intense me. eye uh, struggle of me trying to think like how I can phrase it, and then boom, the perfect Soul? timing. I can see. And I love Fauna. Soul? See. I love the I love the way I upped his saturation <gasps> during this moment. It so, looks so wrong. And then fucking I'm all on my own. The fucking guy gives the music is so good for this. Maybe, maybe Thomas yeah. was okay. Uh, maybe maybe 
Maybe Quick I interlude turn to about the dead portrait oh, of mine. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's, I, that's probably my favorite. I like. So uh, obviously, uh, oh, I'm supposed to represent wrath. I was angry the entire goddamn time. <laughs> I was, yeah. I was Eating yelling at up. Thomas. I was committing acts of violence, uh, <laughs> and you know, I, I, I kill this fucking frog. Like, give me your eyes. Uh, I am wrath. Um, and uh, so as I die, I like go. I can see, <laughs> and then, and the teacher's like, "What well, can you see?" And I'm like, "I could see colors," and then I, I die. That was so funny. Mm -hmm. And that was just—I just, came up with that. I, I was just saying shit on the spot. I had no idea. And, I didn't know what I was doing. And here's the thing. Um, <laughs> your per this edit where I show your perspective here. This isn't what you were seeing. This was me. Yeah. In, you were still. You still had all the color from your screen gone because of the I sanity effects. What I just yeah, did um, was I just upped the fuck out of the saturation of your POV here, and it makes everything yeah. just look, look better, but so off. <laughs> it's because the saturation level, like, obviously the, desat it, the screen is already desaturated due to the sanity effect, mm -hmm. and then you saturate it above what it normally would be in Minecraft. It's yeah, so it, yeah. looks, it looks essentially like sort of deep fried, <laughs> and it Great. looks off. But it's, it's, it's it cooked. makes perfect sense because I say I can see colors. Yeah, I think the fact cooked. that it takes place in a swamp also adds to the effect because the colors in a swamp are oh, naturally yeah. rather dark and desaturated. Uh -huh, Putting yeah. a lot of saturation on that background in particular, that color scheme just makes it feel alien. The idea that we had this shared traumatic experience of I just wanted a nice relaxing ASMR on my birthday. And instead, we got fucking Igor ASMR where she replaces your eyes with. With eyes belonging to a frog and then in the fucking improv because Kashino missed the cue I accidentally pushed soul to reenact the fucking ASMR. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, no, I, I get actually to fucking when I, do it again. And the fact like that right it only dies the, frog. the one time you swing your sword. Like it's that yeah. feels yeah. like it's at first just a bit of brutality and then like you I, I like have a visceral image like, in my head of like you slicing them it. out. Yeah. It's well, yeah. <laughs> I remember, I remember what happened, right? Because I, I, I did miss the key. I was like, I was supposed to do it when they touched the frog. And then, like, right as I clicked it, you were like, you brought your sword. And I was like, oh, he's going to kill it. And then he killed the frog. <laughs> I was like, yes! Yes! It looked it was, intentional! I, I, I feel like the gimmick with the rainbow eyes makes sense. But, like, mm -hmm. I just want to point out the fact that that's just something I do for my portraits in general. Lol. Mm -hmm. that, that was probably uh, my favorite it, death it, portrait. It, it, I like. it blended really well. Into, like, I'm still remembering ago. the experience of showing this draft to uh because like for most of y'all y'all saw the work in progress through most of it before mm -hmm. I, I i submitted it i had a basically probably completely finalized version that i just got to show to cat and golden brawler with just no prompt and that was an experience just getting to see what they thought of this from nothing <laughs> that's awesome yeah. dude I can tell that experience uh, stuck with Golden Brawler because sometimes he references this. He fucking references this hardcore, which oh, is wow. amazing. He does? Sometimes, like in my presence. That's incredible. Especially this, I feel like is just very memorable. God, I one thing I will say, one of my biggest struggles in editing for especially hardcore stuff, because I've tried doing it all on a few occasions. Of course, never successfully until this. One thing I nailed with this hardcore is I think all of my song choices were incredible. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Yeah. I think I think you hit. Uh, I think the most memorable one uh, to me is coming up. So oh. yeah, is uh, maybe. What can you see? Where we're getting. So I had the oh, idea yeah. of using the guy guys um, right. prayer maybe, music. Maybe maybe I should return I, to for like the end of a hardcore oh, for a really oh, long fuck. time, and I was oh, like, I feel so lost. Am I gonna waste this on Fauna hardcore? Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. Waste is the Not wrong waste. word. Yeah. I, it felt Lost like a waste. Thought. No more of the spirits of the swamp. Oh, dude, you didn't tell me that you would have a rehab moment. If, you didn't, if I can't find... You didn't, I didn't? give that to me very well? No. If I and find so Thomas... When, when, you were, when I played that, and you were like, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go. Maybe Thomas was right. I was like, oh. Oh, I like this. I'm going to... I didn't to, tell you like, this? 
No, I was like, I'm going to harass him with vi with like auditory hallucinations. And you picked. I'm just gonna. I, I love how you just looped the the most intense voice line for a while. It, that was you, great. You yeah, it's it what? becomes so noisy, and it helps yeah. like the atmosphere so fucking much. Yeah. What, what you had told me was that you were going to at the end you wanted to go to zero sanity that you're gonna go insane and that you had a an audio clip in reverse that was like your, your point of no return. Uh -huh. And I was like, okay. And so I was so ready for that, but you had said not to set, not to do that till you got home. Yes. So I was like, all right, fair enough. Home and so you started boating home and you were like, and, and so I just knew you were going home and that was uh -huh. all the context I had. So when you were like, I think Thomas was right. I was like, I'm going to now play the part of an angry God. <laughs> Go mode. This part the demons is aren't real. so good to me. I don't have to think about the demons anymore. They they leave me alone. Where it just keeps looping the no reverse whisper. Yeah. It Go away. It's so terrifying. I have, find, I have to find Thomas. At least I have a way back. Oh God! If I ignore the demons, they're not real. My greatest right. fear and was then... you dying to a demon before you got home. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> there she is. Oh yeah, I was about to say, I show up <laughs> a lot in this point. Uh, you don't show up a lot. You, I think this is the only time where you're 100% visible. Yeah, I, I forgot about me. this. Uh, look where at the I? tree on the on the left of the screen. Right over there. Oh, There's yeah. a little There's eye poking there. out of that corner. Yep. Oh my goodness. I, yep. I don't, so, oh, wait, I think it's here. So, so when I, when I was like, like I said, I was like, I'm gonna play the part of an angry deity. That's crazy. Um, what I did from this point onwards, is if I wasn't playing an audio clip, I was flying to a point there, within your there, Right there, yeah, there I you am. can just see completely. <laughs> so unlike with Kyogre, my point here was to stay out of sight, but like be visible enough that you could catch it if you had a keen eye. I show up probably about six times. <laughs> I like try to become visible, but the problem was a lot of the time I would be kind of far away because I didn't want you to see me. I wanted you to like, mm. I wanted to be in your periphery. <laughs> and I couldn't quite accurately predict your movements. Uh -huh. And so I would like appear somewhere and you would like kind of turn a bit and I'd be like, okay, well now I'm gonna show up. Yeah. So this was this was the gutsiest one I did. This I, is like, I, I think I the think the gutsiest one you did was one you didn't intend to, which was at the very beginning at the fucking village. No, sorry, I meant I meant while you were insane, this was the yeah. gutsiest one I did. Which okay. Is, I think the only one the only one you caught. It's the only one that we see in editing. The effect of this, I think, with is like this is maximum horror. It's like the voices in your head. It's literally like the shit, like what the what the hero Brian creepypasta is born from, right? Yeah, I was gonna say it's. Cl it reminds me a lot of um those bits of uh, Puss in Boots: The Last Wish. If anyone's seen that movie, where he's like running from movie. death, and mm. you see hints of him, but it's actually like a tree or something. Replace the whispering that death does with fauna ASMR. I, I yeah, did like a it's... good job because I didn't notice that when I watched the video. I didn't notice that I showed up there. Yeah, yeah we, I mean, it's never put attention to either. No, it's not. Which is perfect. It's never it's elaborated. No one ever in the comments real. mentioned like, it. So the demons are not real. Biggest people Easter egg in the video. But yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I feel it's like, like there for like. Imagine a split if I just cratered there. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Again, oh my god. Scared. He will tell me that everything is okay. Gosh, now and then this part is gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I have to be getting close. I have to be getting close. I was I was on top of the house in the scene. You were? I don't know. I don't know if it shows up in the footage. Oh my god. But I was on top of the house. Yeah. The home! I don't see this. it. Either that or I was in a like window in the upstairs. I can't believe how... Quote, quote, I can't believe how so inconsolable quote, I am and then here. I was with Sol and yeah. He, he, we remembered the ASMR advice and... Bro was just saying things. We remembered the fact that she, she cancelled the ASMR at my birthday. <laughs> the ASMR that replaced it. She <laughs> she suggested that we that we replace you our... Know, I'm really glad problems. that people and said that this, touched a this hardcore was actually scary. I just want yeah. to return yeah, to right. the organization. Please oh. tell me it'll be okay, Thomas. <laughs> Or at least this, unnerving. Was real quick. this ending genuinely made me sad. It's gonna be okay, so, right, Thomas. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about at this point. Of course point. not. I don't know what you okay. mean by ASMR okay. or your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost your mind. I guess not. We need to sleep. We need to get a little rest. It's clearly we've been up for too long. Here we go. And that that's why the paper took them out. Don't sleep. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I love how I can just barely yeah. hear Thomas. You, you have to focus uh, to hear uh, Thomas uh, over Fauna. I just saw something go through a it's wall. It's so perfect. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure you're imagining. You can see okay. me uneasily looking at the door. <laughs> I also hear the things I say. Ambient noise. It's not real. Blends with the it's sound not real. file really well. It's not real. Let's get you to bed. Which bed do you like? Oh. oh. What? <laughs> Thank you.
Good night. I'm Emir. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's so perfect. One so hour, perfect. fourteen minutes, thirty-eight seconds. Current stream. That ending. Bonus. Nothing. Genuinely One sad hour, me. fourteen minutes, and thirty-eight seconds. <laughs> What, I think that was the exact started? time the actual recording took. Um, yeah, no, I, I went through the effort of, I looked, like, while editing this, I tried, like, I was like, okay, I have to find a Fauna stream, and I have to go to the website specifically at a certain amount of time after her stream. And I actually mm. timed that shit out. See, uh, yeah. If it, if it wasn't just so perfect as the credit scene, I would have asked to put something entirely different on screen, just so that, as I promised, I get to watch what I like on the TV for a change. As like yeah. the last thing I said before I disappeared in the woods. Given but the as fact a credit that scene, this is so perfect. Given the fact that it's like three seconds, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, then like... this had to be the ending. I just really like that this confirms in universe all this shit happened in an hour. Let's uh I guess talk about stuff. So first off, uh TJ. Yeah. DJ. Your sin. Not it should be greed, right? Yeah, it was it was greed because of the fact that I wanted my special ASMR on my birthday, but then I try to almost un I try to almost go back on my sin, but at that point it's too late. There's no going back at that point. <laughs> I think there's a really good comment that breaks it down below this oh, video. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that that's because um that comment is so accurate because after this debuted, I described everything I mentioned about the plot of this hardcore to the people in the voice call, and mm. one person remembered all of that conversation and put pretty much all of it. Idiotic Reborn did a great job summarizing it. Moral of the story, VTuber bad. I mean, not even necessarily. It was originally, it, be, it became a, a social commentary on parasocial yeah, relationships. Yeah, somehow. It was originally yeah. just a dumb joke, like, oh yeah, sa funny saplings, they don't have object permanence. That was the only joke that it needed to be. But then it really kind of became a social commentary on parasocial relationships by accident. Social commentary. That's so funny. Um... So, lear, uh, learn to a cave by Anashi Mume while in search of their fellow saplings out of envy for watching Fauna without them. Um, <laughs> uh, got himself trapped in the nether due to his, his hubris, which is more pride. Um, yeah, hubris, pride is pretty synonymous. Pretty close, thing. yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to interrogate for Fauna's whereabouts. I love their phrasing. <laughs> it's great. Tell me! Tell Took a gluttonous me. bite out of an enchanted golden apple. As yeah. per the instruction of Fauna's voice in their head, to coop to poison, um, and a lustful hallucination. <laughs> he yeah. throws up a, out of sloth. I mean, I think the frog was- that was only one of many things that you did out of wrath. <laughs> yeah, I was just very wrathful in general. Um, Beat me up repeatedly, <laughs> just for I trying to like, There was three anything. separate instances of soul attacking Thomas. <laughs> was it, yeah, uh, once Thomas has to suffer a lot uh, of abuse from me in general. <laughs> yeah, I After am. Going, I am the roughed up quarter of the rhombus. Not, not a greed field attempt to find Fauna, but more so the fact that she canceled the ASMR on my birthday. Like, oh my god, I need to talk about the moment when I realized when we went through the whole sin thing because like we because like at first like at first it was just like uh it was just something quote said it was just like a really small thing it's like huh uh a lot of these i feel like some of these deaths are aligning with the seven deadly sins like what no that's that's silly that's that's stupid that would never it's like okay now this now i'm starting to see this a little bit but there's no way we can finish this and then it's like, it like obviously the phantoms that makes me sloth and then no, like, you yeah. should have let me cook and then <laughs> should have let him cook and then it's just like what's what's the soul and it's like no, that's wrath. That is definitely <laughs> wrath that is happening yeah. there. So what does that, that make me? Wrath. It's just like it's like envy is like no, that can't be envy. The envy doesn't make any sense for me. Like obviously I have nothing to be envious about. Like and I'm with all my friends. I'm greed. doing nonsense. Is is like it's like, it's like, it's like it's, and I was like greed. I was like greed doesn't make much sense either though. I'm just I'm just on this adventure the same as everyone else. And then I was like, wait. Wait, why are you the on fucking the ASMR on my birthday? Breathe. It comes back to the fucking ASMR she canceled on my birthday. It's so funny. And just the most roundabout thing. It was just like, no. And that, that means that we decided... have to record an extra session with yeah. either Toter Yug and it end up being Lorelai. <laughs> yeah. And then we decided it had to be them being looking for us because they're jealous of us uh, watching Fauna without them. Yeah. <laughs> I think that really marks the point where this stopped being just a fun little joke hardcore and started being yeah. something started else. take on its own lore. <laughs> something else. <laughs> I, I also, just because I was 
behind the scenes, I do have a few like miscellaneous notes I was wanting to share. But... I mean, go for it. I hit some Easter eggs around the map. That was fun. Nobody found any of them, but oh, yeah. great! Uh, uh, there was like was there was a debug stick in the chimney of the house. <laughs> okay, well, no one was gonna um, go up there. <laughs> I don't remember all of them, but I did hide like five things. I had another note. I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, that ending was so startling to me because what I was expecting because you didn't really outline the ending as much you were like I'm gonna go to zero and then I'm gonna die and I was like fair enough what I expected to happen and this is part of the thing I put um an insanity creature like the most lethal one in the doorway like what I was trying to do was when you got to Thomas I wanted you to basically like go and be like Thomas Thomas everything's bad and then just <laughs> explode right like that's what i wanted <laughs> yeah um, i wanted there to be no interaction i wanted you to go in there and be like thomas and then just Pah! i spawned the creature that can one tap you i spawned him in the doorway firstly i accidentally spawned him literally in the door he like suffocated but then i i killed him and i spawned a new one and um and what i didn't realize was that there the little staircase that goes up into the living room is too short and the beast was too tall, so it physically couldn't reach you. So you were supposed to die there. And then you had your conversation with Thomas, and Thomas was like, it's gonna be okay. And you're like, please tell me it's gonna be okay. And Thomas was like, let's get some rest. And I was like, oh, well, I feel sad now. Like, he's finally, like, safe. He's, like, he's had his full character arc. He's, like, he is, he is on the path to be normal. And I'm just gonna kill him. And I killed you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, it I, made me really sad. I didn't. When you said that made you sad, I thought that was after all the editing. I didn't know you meant that in real time. But the music made it worse. Oh I, yeah, I of like, course. I, as it happened, I was like, I almost don't want to kill him. So, I didn't know shit. <laughs> like, I, I know it obviously. I didn't know a thing. But like, I didn't know about your birthday in the ASMR. I didn't know about the cows. I didn't understand any of what was being planned. I went into this as blind, partly because I just don't know these things, and partly because I felt like it would be more interesting for me not to know these things. But <laughs> you come into my house. You come I try into to my set up on, I try to set like a nice little dinner with a piece of cooked mutton, cooked mutton, and then a sign that says cooked mutton. That you know <laughs> one would tell the difference. You come in here screaming about ASMR and your birthday and that people are dead, and I what am I supposed to tell you, Mr. <laughs> TJ? Big Tej. What am I supposed to say? Big Tej. You did I don't. I didn't know what you to were do. Supposed to. And across the whole heart, I'm like, like, am I doing good enough? Do I know? Should I be saying something? Because they're talking about cows. They're talking about treason, and it takes me way too long treason. to get the joke. There's a bit that we <laughs> missed where people are talking about, oh, we'll indoctrinate you, Thomas. I'm like, I, I don't <laughs> want, I don't like doctors. I don't know any of what's going on. And you, then you, I just sit at home quietly making bread and berries and stuff, and then you explode on me. And I don't know why you exploded on me. <laughs> and I just, I need you to understand that deep and guttural what the fuck came from <laughs> guttural parts of my soul. I, I was need like, you to I, forgive me for this, but hearing TJ just goes, you exploded on me. I had to resist the urge to just bomb. Hey, yo. <laughs> Thomas, when I was watching you after TJ died, I was like, I really hope he says nothing but like, just like a drops a WTF. And that's exactly what you did. And I cheered. <laughs> I, I like leaned back and I cheered. <laughs> I you I had to figure all this stuff out that we've talked about this entire session in reverse because I had been through it <laughs> and then had to learn all of this, learn That's the context so of what I've been through. Like, so yeah, we took Thomas on a ride. You it were here two, to it, be it took confused. Me a one, it took me a one ride forwards and then another ride backwards through history as I learned <laughs> what you had done to me. Yeah. <laughs> to understand you were, how we got to you exploding on me. The entire reason you were brought on was to be clueless. You didn't need to do it to me this hard. I would have been clueless if you hadn't done a thing. <laughs> we didn't do a thing. We just had it happen. And then what do you mean explained. you didn't do a thing? You took apart a man's home and then beat him up in front of his wife. <laughs> it had to be done, Thomas. And then you what? called it treason. <laughs> treason? 
Tree you tree 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 break down the village, Thomas. You don't understand. <laughs> You're right. I don't understand. That is my entire point. So I don't think Thomas has recovered it? from this experience, guys. <laughs> no, there's no coming back from this, Kyogre. There's no <laughs> oh return. My God. <sighs> this plant lady ruined my night. I, I just to wanted to make bread. I just wanted to make bread. I love the music box Yoshi's Island yeah. uh, I, intro yeah. because the beginning of it, mm -hmm. like at the very start of the journey, is also Yoshi's Island. Yep, it's the title screen music, and then it goes yeah. to the music box, which is like it really, it really was like this is like I could never do something this good with just music choices again, which actually kind of leads me into. The final thing I want to say before we watch this final section, which is what was going to be the successor to uh, Sapling Separation. A few months down the line, the third Hardcore Jam is announced. But much to my dismay, my idea of doing a Necro Dancer Hardcore Jam is immediately thrown out the window because they have a rule put in place that this jam has to adhere to the theme. And the theme is movies and cinema. And I'm just oh, like, right. well, I can't possibly even begin to hope to do anything cinematic. I don't watch movies at all. And so I'm like really trying to rack my brain because like I wanted to go through the fun of Sapling Separation again, doing something just equally dumb and stupid or just fun. And I'm racking my brain and I, I, I literally made a meme to drench the fact that I was like, I, I can't do anything about this. And, and I expressed my frustration in this fucking meme that I posted in the main hardcore server at the time. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and it really describes my whole feelings. But I was I was excited because I figured the next hardcore because one of my favorite entries from the second hardcore jam was one that Kashino was in. It was just it was just like a couch co-op just Doom thing. It was just really entertaining because it was just four guys playing Doom having fun while while de while death that is a semi-feasible so factor. And I wanted to do something like that but with Necro Dancer. But then I'm just like really racking my brain. Like I think I paced around my room for 15 minutes trying to think of something. And I did what I always do when I'm in a time of desperation, I need to look to inspiration. And I looked to the world of Eurobeat. <laughs> Dude. And so that was when I had the idea of what I would come to call Project Death Race in which I would coerce seven, potentially eight of my friends to buy and download Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, build an entire game mode from that game, use the mechanics of that game to where I can use a car's damage meter as a health bar, and have a racing tournament where I have them go against each other 1v1 just over and over again in a desperate attempt to find a worthy challenger. I brought this up earlier in terms of music because I wasn't going to try with music at all. This has to be a shit post. I'm going to make all of ba the background music fucking uh, fucking Eurobeat and it's going to be the most copyrighted video of all time. Um, I'm just going to encourage people to come up with whatever bullshit stupid Wrong. backstory they want to give themselves for why they're entering a, a tournament that's very clearly designed to kill them and I was just gonna let it happen unfortunately but then something went through Aspen's scheduling started to be difficult to work around I had a slump yeah, in school and just lost all practiced. motivation to really sit down and actually schedule and it died before it took off the upset. point when you tried to schedule this happened at exactly the same time where quote Thomas and I were knee deep in planning an IRL meetup mm -hmm. that did happen, and a Kashino yeah. also were that was I, there. I was, I was there, yeah. He wasn't oh, wow. invited, but he was certainly <laughs> he wasn't <there>. invited. <laughs> <laughs> he just showed so, up. No, in fact, I was explicitly told not Why'd to come. Why'd you say that? Why'd you <laughs> say that? Like that? <laughs> oh, oh. So product death race never happened. I don't think it ever will happen at this point. So I'm slotting it in here. And finally, the last thing to watch before we get through the rest of the footage, which at that point, y'all are free to leave. Oh. There was one other rule that was in place in order to prove that we did record it when we say we did. Now, this did eventually, because everyone was so bad at following this one guideline, there was also a clause added. You can like show the metadata for the recording files. But the other way that you would have confirmed that this was recorded after oh, it was, was announced was by saying the phrase spooky kabuki halloween special let's go and when there's like only a week left like we already know the metadata thing is already going to be a thing but someone suggests the idea of oh we all forgot to say that 
what if you sent a super chat and had Fauna say that? <laughs> and so, oh I sent her a super chat. It was like, I want to say like a week before it was, and I like it's asked her how- week, yeah. I was like, how long does it take Fauna to usually get the super chats? It's like, I don't know, usually it's like a day or it's like usually two to three days. I was like, okay, I, I, that, that's doable. I could, I could fit that in there. And then time passes. I watch one of her streams. There's no super chat readings. I watch another one of her streams. There's no super chat readings. And it just continues like this until it's very clear I'm not getting I'm not getting a clip of her saying that. And then like I want to say two <laughs> days after the video debuted, she does a super chat reading. Thank you. Great shot, thank you. Thank you, Samling, thank you. TJ, thank you. Oh no, I'm late. For your spooky kabuki Halloween special, go. <laughs> it's. It's so sad. She sounded so guilty. And that is all of Sapling Separation. Thank you guys for hanging out for all of this. All right, anyone have any closing thoughts before we wrap things out? I don't think so. Fauna haunts my nightmares. <laughs> Fair. I miss Fauna. I miss Fauna. The soundboard is sad. <laughs> God dang it, Kishida. Alrighty, well, this has been the Sapling Separation post show. I, I've, I've been TJ Henry Yoshi, and I've been joined by these wonderful people. If you guys want to outro yourself, otherwise I'll just fucking edit here. That's just not I'm true. Awoken Kyogre, and I'm the best part of the thing. Wow. <laughs> Goodness. I quote is cool. No? Subscribe to my channel. Uh, I suppose I've been confused, Soul. Uh, I do things, uh, sometimes. I used to be Thomas, now I'm traumatized. <laughs> I don't do anything. <clears throat> Seros Fauna. Oh my god. <laughs> I plant. <laughs> god damn it. Good night, everybody. So, I suppose that was sapling separation. Once again, I want to thank all of these incredible people for participating and helping me with this idea and I'd also like to thank all of you for taking an interest in it but as one more reward for watching all the way to the end on this one I'll leave you with one final trailer for my next video man what's the deal why is no one attractive you know, every ace person is just always thinking about like, God, I really hope I don't fuck you. But I like, I don't, know, I don't think I would, but like, God damn, you know. What if I wake up one day and decide, you know what? Sex. And that's exactly where this started.